so live. Welcome back to another series of um, Haunting Heather. I already look, I already have a receipt up on screen. I didn't mean to have that, but it's it's good to go. It's ready. Um, my flock. Whoa, I should probably have my microphone closer. You probably hear me better now. Hopefully, thank you for the uh, the super sticker. I uh, hope you guys are all doing well tonight. My computer is not letting me switch things as easily as normally, but BCG, how you doing? Amos McKitty, hope you're doing well. Addison Clark, Tamara Stubert, hope you guys are all having a great night. Welcome to the weekend. It is Friday and Heather has been off of the freaking walls this, uh, <laughs> this week. Um, the total stuff that i was able to grab it was like over three hours about three hours and 20 minutes um i don't know if we're going to be able to get through all of that probably not um maybe we'll split it into two streams maybe we'll also do a stream tomorrow the agenda for tonight it's going to be um there was a freedom of information uh request for the stabbing incident so i want to go over that real quick first uh the bcg was able to get and then we also have um, all of the live streams I want to go over. And then we're going to go into her stories uh, for no particular reason while we're going in that order. Um, but we'll go chronologically in the live streams and then chronologically in the stories. Um, and then after that, I wanted to show you guys some Coco versus the Caps um, that BCG curated. And I don't think we'll have time for anything after that i was gonna say maybe deep tracks after that but like the the cop stuff is like the deep tracks um so yeah let's uh let's get right into this here i'll get the um this pulled up let me let me get it pulled so i can read it so um the truth of her, the screwdriver attack story someone recently pulled the file on that incident and sent bcg the details uh, so the text goes as follows. Hello again. I wanted a mission or I went on a mission two weeks ago and got another freedom of information. Uh, it is the screwdriver incident at the gas station. If you want the details, let me know. As usual, only about half the story is true. Go figure. Uh, and then BCG replies, oh, I'm always curious about more of her alleged assaults. Actually, I don't know if this is BG talking. They just posted it. Um, and then... Part two. Okay, that got pulled up. Um, so they just copy and pasted the messages so it's easier to read. So the stabbing story, we'll call it the other girl A. So like the people who apparently stabbed her. One of them is girl A. Uh, there was multiple witnesses. So that day, both Heather and A visited their um, husbands in the state bill that day. Uh, they had not got along for a few weeks and it escalated heather followed her to a mobile gas station and pulls up aggressively a yells you don't want to you don't want this smoke and heather yells i want all the smoke bitch <laughs> of course the report actually says heather stomped over to a aggressively got in her face heather spits on a and says what are you going to do i just spit on you okay so she's the one who instigated it you can't spit on someone that's technically it's technically assault. Um, I just spit on you, and you're gonna—you're not gonna do anything. You're a pussy. Beautiful, Heather. Beautiful already. Uh, from the video, so there's video evidence as well. Maybe we can get that. I should—I should file something to try to get that. Um, they might not give it to me because I'm Canadian, though. You can't see who threw the first punch, but they, given um, that Heather had already spit on A at this point, it was on. It was on. A hit Heather multiple times and then tried to disengage twice while Heather continued to chase her and engage in fighting. Uh, her friends around Heather and A did have a small knife slash screwdriver less than the length of a pinky finger and Heather was caught. Oh, she got a scratch. There was blood, but no stitches needed. Okay, so she was definitely instigating. This person probably uh, was initiating self-defense, you know? Um, I don't say to go stab people, but hey, if this person you tried to disengage and she's still coming at you, and uh, you guys have seen Heather, she might have been on something, you know. Um, <laughs> a and her friends took off uh 911 and was called. Took off 911 and was called. 
Oh, they took off a 911 call. Heather did go to the hospital and get medical treatment, but said she didn't want to press charges. Two days later, she changed her mind and said she did. I don't think it works like that. I don't think you could be like, nah, I don't want to press charges. And then later on, be like, you know what? I feel like pressing charges today. What? what? I mean, unless maybe you're being intimidated or something, or I don't, I don't know. Um, police looked at it all and because heather spit on her and heather was very upset when the police were there she appeared to be the aggressor well she was the aggressor uh the state's attorney did not press charges on either and then we got this last one here and how do they know what case to request dusty can thank herself for that um because she posted that the case number and that is stabbing victim jumped to stab to death oh stab i don't know where i why I put death in there uh, by three women with screwdrivers after leaving. So that's really odd that she cited this own before. So if you guys want to look that up, there you go. Um, so yeah, that is the actual stabbing story. Now this is, um, this is the first TikTok live she did. I'm going to close some of these tabs out here so I can uh, stay organized. But that's a that's way different than how Heather described it in the um, what the real gossip news and everything, um, with that lady that lady she did it with. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. My vlog. Hope you're doing great. Uh, only three hours. Yeah, only three hours. BCG does rule. Tina Marie. I hope you're doing great. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into this. So, uh, this is the first live stream she did on the good old TikTok. Can I, I don't think we need these lines here. Oh, look, my shit's actually working today. Perfect. And let me know if you guys can hear it good. You should be able to hear it better than ever before. Oh, it's doing that thing again. As the rain continues to pour up and think of the rain as abuse. As the rain continues to saturate the ground around you abuse the, the people around you your little spot of dryness is going to get wet it's going to soak up the water from around so even though the abuse or rain and i'm not saying rain is abuse try to follow along with me guys but even though the abuse is coming down and you're guarded from it when it falls on everyone around you and you interact with those people you will end up getting saturated yourself so you end up getting abused too? Are you guys following along? Hope you guys are following along. She wants to make sure you are. So from your space of dry, you have to not only think, okay, these people are getting fucking rained on. That's why they're being this way to me. It has nothing to do with me. You also have to find a way to be okay through it. And that's something that none of us should ever have to do. If you're being abused, make a campaign, make a social media page, report the abuse document the abuse seek out love how come she doesn't have any of her abuse documented she's got a lot of her claiming abuse on other people documented but i've never seen not that i want to see people abuse or anything but you think if she had actual documentation that there'd be some charges or something or she'd have her marcy's compensation or whatever she goes on about seek out light go to whatever that looks like for you if you don't believe in god don't go to church put on a funny comedy if you don't believe you know in laughing or god meditate do whatever you need to do to give yourself the love that you need at that time and later on apologize right like if i if i tell my person listen you have two choices you need so if you give them an ultimatum you know where is this gonna go to get them out of here or you need to be quiet because you're abusing me too much and I've reached my saturation point, right? Late, that's not the best way to say it, right? So there could be a better way, like, hey, baby, you could be explaining. Or maybe that is the best way. Who knows? Either way, do what you need to do to get back into your peace and then clean it up later. Go back to the person later and say, yo, I don't like the way that we talked to each other earlier. Can we come up with something between the two of us? Interpersonal communication is an exchange of energy is she like ranting about xavier here what is she, what is her issue exactly i'm curious she's never very direct none of these none of these crazy guys are so understanding as i said that when people are abusive towards you it's mostly because they're saturated 
they've reached their saturation point, that saturation is overflowing and you're receiving whatever's overflowing, their cup of bullshit is full. And so now it's overflowing onto you. You have to, you have to help stop that saturation from the area surrounding you so that it doesn't spill onto you. You know, I just walk away. If it's raining over here, just don't be over here anymore. Just walk away. That's probably the, what is she, what's her advice going to be to get rid of the saturation, to get rid of the water? That's not her fault. Nothing's ever her fault, but what, I'm just curious. You see what I'm saying? You can't be the only one person not covered in shit when someone is Rick, when someone is slingshotting shit at your entire group. If you're standing like this next to everyone, you know, and someone is just, shooting shit at you guys the chances you're not going to be covered are are very very unlikely but if you team up with your whole entire group and say yo we are not perfect and we have fucked up in the past but we don't want to be covered in shit anymore but the, i don't even get this analogy bro i like you can be around bad people it doesn't mean like you're going to get associated with them unless you like stick your nose in other people's business just keep to yourself it'd be fine and you guys together find a way to go get a tarp especially post covid everyone just wants to keep to themselves and you build a shelter, even if it's a temporary one, I promise the shit might not stop flying, but you're going to stop getting covered in it. Right? All right, you guys. No. Anyways, I know that was like blah, 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 rambling. I swear to God, there were good points in there. I you were more direct. Maybe I could have understood them, but no. Everyone have a great day. Thank you for listening. And I'm 22 weeks pregnant. I'm very, very sad because I miss my kids. I'm very, very happy because we finally got a new tent after walking to five targets, like 15 miles looking for one. Um, that was my budget to buy my clothes, uh, my winter clothes and my boots and winter clothes for my kids. So I cried about that for a few hours uh, last night, but hopefully I'll find a way. We, we always have sponsors that step up at the last minute. So um, thank you again to everyone who's donated in any way or helped in any way or done anything to assist in any way. Um, to everyone who is saying anything negative or nasty or abusive in the comments, um, please go away from here if you don't find anything of value uh, and you're not able to add anything of value. If you need a support group, please find one. Um, and it's like I said, the final example I want to bring up is... You can just come here if you want to talk shit on Heather. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she'll block you anyways, but I, a lot of people, they're like all these people. All these people uh, trolling her. That there are way too many people sitting in the audience like this saying, Heather, please help, right? Myself included, to, to you above me. Look at this. I'm, I'm reaching out my hand saying, I want to learn. I want to be helped. I don't want to be abused anymore. That's what the flowers said before you smacked them, bopped them, threw them all over the ground. I'm not in anyone's comments calling them a hoe or an addict or a bitch or telling them to kill themselves. That That's a lie. That's a lie. I have, um when I, get, when I do the stories, bcg posted the receipts of for saying that in people's dms that group needs to be i cannot stress the importance they need to be separated they need to be dealt with differently the people who are sitting there with their hands extended ready and willing to do the work who want to be a part of a winning team grab them grab them and hold on for dear life because willingness and ability are rare you don't have either i don't think i think you're willing to do anything you just want hand outs, and I don't see much ability. She can talk. She can talk all day and night, but she says the wrong stuff. <laughs> stuff that I don't think any sponsor's going to want to get behind. Ironically, because she's like, oh, sponsors. I really like it. The sponsors would help me. Um, so that was from the 15th. This is also from the 15th as well. So this was like her second live on October 15th. Hi, guys. Um, okay, so I was writing up an agenda and several different papers. Of course you were writing up an agenda. What's the agenda today? I want to make sure. Let me know if you guys can hear her okay. Actually, I don't know if I'd be able to boost it, but I could turn my mic volume down if it's too wacky. No one's going to do that, Chris. That I have always been writing about and working on um, since the beginning of time. If you've ever found, so there were at my previous home, let's start over, at my previous home, a five bedroom house um, that I shared with my three children, um, probably one of the happiest times of my life, 
despite the most severest amount of exploitation. Um, I had the most assistance hands-on with my situation and my family and my, my life. Um, and I don't think it came in the form of like, hi, I'm so-and-so and I'm here to help. She's actually really chill in this one compared to all the other ones, especially the most recent ones, like the most recent ones <laughs> are the craziest. So if she we will give it another minute, if she doesn't ramp up too much, I'll, I'll skip through, but it's only 13 minutes. There's definitely some juicier stuff. <laughs> it's three hours from this week. Um, so if there's any like low points, I'm probably just going to skip ahead. Um, and if you want to catch any of these, they're on like a crazy chains, crazy trains channel, BCG's channel. Um, I see mama bear going over some of this stuff, uh, your highness. Um, yeah, you can get them there. It was more so like a conspiring of the universe to save. I mean, it kind of got interesting pretty fast. My life. Uh, and it hasn't had the cleanup that I have expected or, um, you know, imagined it would have. I expected to be literally like rescued for like black ops to come rushing into my house, like pick me up off of the sofa. Um, what, what, why? <laughs> they all think they're so important, bro. They think they're the most important person. Who's the fucking the black? Who's gonna send black ops? to save Heather from herself. Grab the kids in the other arm. So three kids on one side, me on the other side, over the shoulder, running out, going into some like bulletproof vehicle. Everyone is there, you know, from my whole family and extended family. Does she think Black Ops is one guy? We're safe. My husband happens to be the Black Op who saved us. My abs are this is her imaginary story, right? She's not saying this often. Chiseled. <laughs> you guys, that was so funny. But seriously though, that's what I expected. And the process of like healing myself from all this bullshit and abuse and pain and targeting and sexual assault and financial exploitation. All the buzzwords, I guess, demonetized. Yeah, all that stuff. And just very confusing, scary, sad things that happened has been tedious. Oh my God, you know the abuse is going to suck, right? But nobody talks about how hard and difficult and long and tedious and repetitive I mean, I can definitely get the re repetition. <laughs> She's very repetitive. That's what I was, I, was, I was. I was like, Heather at least keeps her lies consistent. She practices them every fucking day. She gets up, looks in the mirror, and is like, "I was stabbed, raped, bludgeoned, and beaten." The healing processes and getting better um, and moving forward with your life, following something like that, your bounce back game, so to speak, as the frequency and intensity of abuse continues to rise um you know so do your skills in coping with them or they don't and we also don't talk about how there are periods of time when they don't yeah tina <laughs> someone caught her googling like they took a screenshot of her googling hey google how many weeks pregnant am i if i'm due on this date like uh february 15th <laughs> so she, she didn't even know how many weeks pregnant she was and i was actually curious because i've known her for three weeks and she said she's 22 weeks pregnant every week so i'm like in my brain i thought she'd be at 25 weeks but we just we just hit the 23rd week mark somehow i don't know you are spent like you have nothing left to offer a situation you are exhausted of the situation and you can't stop working on it you know it's not gonna go away if you stop right so every single time i begin getting targeted again what do i mean by targeted i mean every one of my actions or behaviors is interpreted um, sometimes intentionally wrong and very publicly either online in person um, in direct communication towards the people i love towards the people i care about towards my friends and family members whatever what have you it's a misinterpretation of my life 
that is represented in ways that could be accidental and genuinely misperceived or are nefarious and nefarious i need to make i need to make a heather google a google card a bingo card heather bingo card she has all the she has all the words that'd be the first bop of the night nefarious malicious and being created and nefariously spread around and perpetuated for a common goal okay um and there are reasons from a to z with those being the extremes of each um you know that a person could go through this and what i want to focus on right now it's just the fact that I was literally sitting here feeling like real shit about myself because of some unknown like losers blowing up my phone saying lies on my voicemail box. Like I'm like, really? Why again with this shit? Like I'm already sitting in this fucking tent saying the F word too much more than I usually do. So something's going on. That's one of your main concerns that you're swearing too much. I would have way bigger concerns if I was homeless in a tent than I'm saying fuck too much, guys having difficult strained communication with my children my daughter's not picking up the phone in 21 weeks alexis my young uh, my older daughter's not picking up the phone in like nine or ten days with the exception of like eight seconds twice that's unacceptable my kids either live with i think it's unacceptable that their mom lives in a fucking tent and demands all this shit from them even though you're an inadequate parent sorry just saying with me full time or we're on the phone together all the time what is going on and i get scared um you know about what could possibly be happening but while all of that is going on i sometimes get these godly epiphanies that it's it's like a friend that i don't see or hear just telling me like look yeah what what's happening sucks and it's really happening this is not you being delusional no, it's reality setting in. I don't know why she described it as a god that she doesn't see or talk to. So I don't know how she could have this conversation with <laughs> if you're not communicating with it. It's just known, I suppose. Or paranoid or, you know, convoluting truth. It's really going on. But guess what else is going on, right? And this was the epiphany that just came to me. If you search my name with a lot of different things after it, you get a lot of different results. I mean, if you just search your name, you get a lot of stuff. I don't think you need to add extra stuff onto it. What extra stuff are you adding onto your name? Right. So someone was telling me before, well, do you have a social media presence for what you're selling? Well, what am I selling? I'm smelling. I'm smelling. <laughs> I'm selling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're smelling. Yeah. So you're, you're smelling. smelling selling something. a whole bunch of stuff. Copyright, website, copyright, small business, marketing, social media, branding. Um, just buzzwords she heard from Gary Vee, probably. You know, themes and management, um, all sorts of different stuff. Well, when you go on Google and you type up on Google, Should we type hold it up? on, babe, I'm doing something, um, Xavier. I'm Googling myself, Xavier, okay? I don't have time for the real world problems of being homeless right now, okay? I got to Google myself. Let's see what she's Googling. And you type on Google, Heather. Oh, I spelled her name. Gillespie, right. which is my legal name. Gotcha. Yeah. Social media marketing. So that's what I just got. Wait, you, you typed in social media marketing? No, you're just showing like the autofill because it'll show like your most recent searches. What you talking about? <laughs> you think like other people see that? I don't see that. When I see that, I see Heather Gillespie, Love After Lockup. Heather Gillespie, Reddit. Heather Gillespie, artist. There is apparently another Heather Gillespie, poor woman, who uh, does some good art. <laughs> like, she's got her name attached to it. Uh, got done typing up. You could see it there. Forgive my unmanicured nails. When you type that up, Heather Gillespie, social media marketing wouldn't you know it oh so we have to actually type it okay i'll try it the top one two three four at least four search results without scrolling other than past the sponsored which means paid ads are all direct links to places where my marketing work can be found 
No, the first thing that pops up to me other than the sponsored is Heather Gillespie, social media marketing by We Are BCG. Um, Coco GoPro Solo, um, which is her Twitter, and then her LinkedIn, Government of Yukon. That doesn't sound right. That's not, that's, I don't know what the fuck she was trying to prove. Right, or, or at least a record of marketing and other sales experience um i'm sorry not sales experience marketing experience <laughs> can be found i'm sure it's the same if you type in heather gillespie sales experience probably what will pop up the same page with renewable energy as the focus right so in the same sense while i'm very upset still to this day that i agreed to do love after lockup and that they chose to portray a person and group of people in the way that they did. I'm not gonna keep getting into details. I feel as though the show is exploiting um, significantly a group of people who are not able to advocate for themselves, stand up for themselves, myself included. Even under- I mean, they gave you a voice. No one would know who the fuck you are right now if it wasn't, if unless some, youtuber found you by mistake somehow and gave you some something you should be thanking them maybe i would assume it's reality tv as well i think you should like in today's day and age reality tv has been out forever i could see maybe back in the 90s not knowing the consequences of being on a reality tv show i think you should have known understanding my contract and understanding that it was predatory in nature and that no judge would allow it. I, Which by the show is still on the air, right? I still couldn't figure out how, and still to this day, I haven't been able to figure out how to like get it away and make it stop affecting me. So I guess at the end of the day, um, those people did do me a huge, you know, favor in forcing me to thicken my skin because when you're great and when you refuse to give up at life people are going to be mean to you i'm also not grateful for the same reasons um but as i sit here and defend myself you know to the rumors and the hatred and like people it wouldn't be so bad if it didn't carry over into my life, but this hatred and like, that's all I can call it is hatred. It does. Like people are following us in person, stealing the polls to our tent. I mean, I could understand why someone would hate you, but like a majority probably are just intrigued by you. Probably find you a bit funny, right? But I, I could see people directly affected by you hating you for sure. Like destroying our belongings and like, it's not right, you guys. It's just really not right. So I'm super grateful for the angel that reminded me that I am so many things um, amazing at so many things and that you guys who are supportive of that. Um, I mean, she's very fertile. I guess she's amazing at having kids. Are getting what you're looking for in understanding that. People who are looking for something else in me um you know might also find that you know so i'm not just a mom i'm also a woman i'm also a creative i'm also a marketing you know professional i'm also a social media person so all of these things what you look for you will find record of because i truly am those and as they continue to tell me over and over in in the kevin gates verbiages um the truth can't stand next to a lie, you know? So a lot of these people, even though they really want to be allies with me and they like me personally on a personal level, take nothing personal, they lie. That's their, their, their con artists. A lot of these people that I actually get along with, which is fucked up, you know, they are real con artists. And if I'm carrying myself in a, in a sense of truth and they've made their whole claim to fame on lies, we fuck each other up, you know, and that's where I don't want any involvement. I'm standing in my truth has nothing to do with you and your lies. You lie for. I don't even know who she's talking to. This is like just a big 
psycho rant. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. For entertainment, I stand in my truth to heal myself from traumas and abuses and move forward with my life. You know, so anyways, you guys, that's all just a little um, example of Xavier Shankless. <laughs> I like that. Name. What I've been thinking about, I've also been writing and, you know, doing that. So we have the novel in development, um, a couple days of, you know, not much activity uh, mentally because I've been physically exhausted and completely draining myself. I'm 22 weeks pregnant. Um, I'm very concerned because I've not been able to see my youngest child, Alexis, in 22 weeks. And I've only been able to spend five to 20 minutes with the older kids. I'm walking and pushing weight and working out and just doing a lot. And when I say walking, I'm saying probably just this week, another 30 miles so far. Why don't you, where is she walking to? She's always walking, but she's never getting anywhere. She just stays in fucking Chicago, right? Like, oh, and you're in a tent. Just stay in your tent. I don't get that. That what? Does anyone know if she has a destination? Where the fuck is she walking to? She's walking to Target. <laughs> um, there's no reason for that. I'm tired. <laughs> you know, I'm tired. So I'm trying to get some rest today. But by rest, I mean sitting down and writing down everything I need to do. I had a $400 budget for the month to get myself a blazer. Each child, uh, like winter sweatsuit and a pair of joggers or pants, whichever they'd like. And that's how I do things. I don't have a lot of uh, money flow right now. So I need to buy things for myself and my children little by little. Uh, but that person stealing the poles and destroying the tent uh, put a damper on that. And so I needed to spend $200 on just, you know, equipment to replace the equipment that I just got, you know, a few weeks ago to replace the equipment that was destroyed that I bought a few months before that and the equipment that I bought before that. So this is the, I believe, fifth complete round of equipment in 18 months. Just like the makeup, right? Just like the makeup that you put all over your stomach for some reason. You're going to be like, someone broke in and stole all my makeup. Uh, since Xavier and I have been out on the road and um, homeless, you know, dealing with the social justice issues of homelessness and poverty. The social justice issues of homelessness and poverty. I've... <laughs> I don't know. I've just never heard anyone say that. Um, but that's it, you guys. Have a great night. Um, and thank you for tuning in. I miss my babies. Viviana, Lewis, Alexis, if you're... Stop it. Stop listening. All right. There's only 30 seconds. We're going to move to the next one here. Um, she looks chilly. What's, what's going on in this? What's happening here, guys? Uh, let me close this other one. This is... How long is this? Second night at this location without. It doesn't say. I don't know. It's going to be a mystery. Out access to electricity. Um, so it's very cold for me. I know some of you are like deep. And this is from the 16th. Uh, yeah, 16th. See plungers into like a barrel of ice and cold water for stamina. I am not. I am borderline anemic, 22 weeks pregnant. And now I'm anemic and pregnant. Okay. Possibly have some residual circulatory issues from years and years of taking different various medications that have some sort of nervous system indication with long term use. And this is all my own individual research. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in healthcare administration, and I was a certified medical assistant and phlebotomist from the Illinois of School, uh, Illinois School of Health Careers. But because I couldn't finish paying off my tuition, they would not release my transcripts. Um, I also do a ton of, you know, fact checking and career um, building enrichment programs that are offered for free. I, want, I would love to speak to someone who got a career fulfillment, whatever she just fucking said for free from Heather. I'd be like, what did she teach you? What Did she teach you anything about the job? Did she just like pull up a Gary Vee video? And I was like, that's what you got to do. Um, as well as took several different courses um, through DuPage County uh, at Lombard. I believe it was called First Institute School of Medical Administration. Um so, and then I transferred from uh, Community College, Triton College, and River Grove College, uh, in River Grove and College of DuPage. I transferred credits from both of those institutions to AIU, which is um, a mostly online, but they do have in-person um, locations across the world. 
intercontinentally. Uh, so it's American Intercontinental University. And it's the International States of America. There are several locations. Uh, that's my background. So when I talk about my medical conditions and what's going on with me, let me clean the camera. Uh, I don't know. I was going to try to see what kind of setup she had. Um, I'm not trying to pretend to be your doctor, nor am I telling you how to handle your health shit. And I've said this in other videos, um, but I was hearing it all over the place and decided to just throw it in again. Um, I'm cold, you know, so we have... I called it. She's chilly in this live stream. The agenda, I have the agenda written up mostly. Um, yeah, Xavier's not pulling his weight on the agenda, guys. I don't really know the details. Um, I know that it is beginning and ending with human um, kind of ethics uh, because I feel like all policy holders should have the same minimum when it comes to human uh, rights and ethical treatment of humans. I feel like before I can... I think Heather's the perfect person to be leading this cause. And ever even get into conversation or negotiation with a politician um, or alderman or share my situation with them, I need to first verify that our moral and ethical compasses are facing the same direction. Okay, so this must have been when she started getting obsessed with finding the alderman and giving them the narrative or the agenda or whatever, even though she's just said she didn't know what's on the agenda, but she made the agenda. Unless I'm just going crazy. That could be a thing. My hair is flippy today. I had it in a man bun because I tried yoga. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but it, it, now it's all... Uh... Um, so as you guys know, we went to the library multiple days last week and there was some reason why we could not print out this agenda. Um, I'm going to do it privately and email. Maybe they're like, this is a waste of paper. It to an actual printer and just have him print out a few copies and then take that copy and make copies elsewhere as I need them. None of what I'm That's a good question. We should I'm gonna get pulled up on another tab. I looked it up last time. It's some government official person that I think looks after the town, but I'll get the like official uh definition up for us here. Or actually I'll just pull up on the saying phone. or discussing is new. Uh I have not been assaulted okay. again since about a month ago. Uh the kick outside of the Gwen September fifteenth, uh to my eye while pregnant or face or body. I think it was just this region. Um I don't know if I black out or just go into shock when I'm attacked. Like the lizard in, um, fuck, what is that, maybe Rango? The one that just, like, freezes? Also with memory loss, though. But I think I know exactly what happened. I know for sure there was an assault to this area. I don't know if anything happened after that. I There was a lot of ruckus. They ripped the wall off of my tent, kicked me in my face. And, and, you know, kind of dragged me another five to 10 feet uh, on my back inside the tent while, while I was sleeping at 3.30 in the morning. Um, again, I'm I mean, like there's a bunch of different definitions per country and stuff, but basically, yeah, it's just like a high ranking member um, of the city council is an alderman. That's what it is. 22 weeks pregnant. I need somewhere safe to live. Uh, 311 is not an option. We've called them way too many times to count. I've gone live almost every day for the last several months on one platform or another, um, requesting assistance, direction, guidance. We've been to the hospitals, uh, every hospital in Chicago. None of them have offered us any solutions. Uh, Rush Hospital, even Del Nor Hospital, all the way in Geneva, Northwestern Hospital. Um, just, you know, we're not getting anywhere. Uh, and as I said before, they're doing a lot of passing the buck. Uh, when I call. Oh, yeah. I think that's what this is titled anyways. The FBI something. I haven't watched a lot of these. I skimmed through them, but I wanted to like save my reaction fresh. Also, I don't think I could watch three hours of Heather twice. So like I have seen some, not all this. I haven't. I didn't realize this was the FBI call. All the law enforcement uh, officers who were on the scene for the victimizations, they say that the state didn't choose to pick up the case. 
I don't understand how that's possible. And they're trying to claim that for me to receive victim services, understand that the actions of these people and institutions have resulted in me having wow. nowhere to live for the last four years in me being separated from my three minor children. It might not be a call. She might just be actually are mad at the FBI, but she has called them before. I've seen that. I get that pulled up after if you want. If you want to see her call the FBI, they were just kind of like, I think I actually might have played it. They were like, get out of here. It's just like, you're full of, you're a crazy person. Sorry. Children who I have primary joint custody of. I share custody with their fathers. We have been separated since 2020 from regular visitation. I see them every month or as frequently as I can. But Alexis, I haven't seen in 20 weeks, my youngest daughter. She's 10. You don't think she needs her mother? How I don't think she needs her mother because like, because of just the stuff I've known from the, like I said, past three weeks, I, I think she's doing just fine without you, Heather. How would you justify that this is not a predatory situation? How would you be able to possibly make any sort of sense of the fact that there could not possibly be a working criminal justice system. If there were, how is this legal, ethical, possible? How? It's not. A situation only, you know, transpires like this to this degree and capacity in situations of government crumbling and shutdown. It's the end of times, guys, because the FBI won't help Heather and send a black ops person to come carry her in. What is happening? Do you guys have jurisdictions in your areas where you live that are still seeing court cases like regular? Have you filed petitions in them and been given a court date? Have you? Very loud truck. I mean, okay, she has the freaking hair dryer going pretty much all the time. Anyways, I don't know why she's getting so concerned about a truck. I didn't even really notice the truck, to be honest. But um, nefarious pancakes, I like that CD. Apologize. Um, Xavier's father came and dropped off very quickly some cash to him yesterday. And usually when Xavier gets a payment from his father, he gives me, you know, three quarters of it. If it's $100, he'll give me 80 If it's $200, he'll give me 180 um, and this is because the entire duration of my time with Gatier and all the other jobs I worked, I... Who's Gatier? But yeah, BCG. I, just, just imagine, like, if Dusty was down the street, I'd be like, you want a live stream? You got a live stream? Um, nah, maybe that'd be mean. Supported Xavier and I. I got us Airbnbs with my checks. I paid for our meals. And Xavier contributed with whatever he got. Um, and whatever he could. He's been giving me less than half lately. And oh, then no. I receive criticism and condemnation when I share the money with him. It's his parents are giving you guys the money though, right? Xavier will starve himself because there is someone or thing that he has his money for. And he's not honest or forward with me about that. I don't know what it is. I mean, you said before it was fentanyl. So I, I don't know why you're just not. Maybe Xavier is in the tent or he's around the tent. She doesn't want to say. He never leaves me. We're together every day. Even if I ask him nicely or scream to hell to go away, he will not. But you said he runs off to do fentanyl and then you're left alone and you're like, ah, what am I going to do? I'm pregnant. There is something going on, and I don't know what it is, besides my own situation. I want to be with my children. I was not raised to eat food and not at least offer some of it to someone sitting with me. The fact that he has money in his pocket when I, when, and refuses to buy himself food, but if I don't offer half of what I have, Everyone around me begins punishing me, whether that's through online harassment, telephone calls, assault. There are so many clear indicators that what's going on is immoral, unethical, malicious, and nefarious.
<laughs> of course, of course, nefarious. But like, why is she correlating all these things together? Like, why is she correlating the online hate to Xavier not giving you half of his money? I don't think they're correlated. Uh, what? There are so many indicators that so many of us are being used quite literally like video game characters to be harmed and curated with. And it's sickening. Like the movie Gamer. You remember the movie Gamer, guys? It wasn't that good. I think it was with the guy that was in Spartacus. I could be wrong. And I don't understand the purpose. A video game is not the same as using a human being to cause trauma to another human being. What don't you understand about that? The whole thing. You don't make a lot of sense. I'm sorry. So when you guys hear my blog posts and my live updates starting to sound like this, like I'm counseling children, understand that my opinion and my feelings on the matter are that the people around me are fucking complete belligerent morons that I think they should all be loaded into a semi truck trailer, all of the rapists, all of the creepers, all of the opportunists who harm women and children, all of the undercover, uh, sexually deviant people. What is she, who is she saying this for? Does she think she's running for president or something? I want to put all the bad people in a van. And what are you going to do with this van, Heather? I'm, I probably is not going to end with anything good. They're not going to go to a rehabilitation center, I'll tell you that. Who can be incentivized by the promise of a BJ or a handy. These are the terms that they're using now. I know. BJs weren't called BJs before Heather arrived on the scene. And I think it's disgusting. If you've raised a child that is not being forced, forced to engage in behavior like this and is engaging in such behavior, you owe the entire community an apology. And you owe the entire community an explanation. And you also owe the entire community a suggestion and a suggestive plan for how to undo the tremendous amounts of trauma and detriment and abuse that have been done. I, I think that's on you. And I think that's what <laughs> it's, it's, it's up to the community to come up with some good suggestions for me because I'm all out of ideas, guys. I've tried everything. I've gone to the aldermans. I print out my narratives. I put them all over fucking Chicago. I won't leave Chicago though, because I got to live here forever. Uh, <laughs> she's, I don't know, man, this, this other chick, uh, <laughs> cooking with silence. Thank you for the two back to work. You real Steven to leave him off. Thank you. Um, I hope you're having a good night. I hope work is treating you well. Uh, I hope this is so entertaining. There's, there's always something with this lady. I don't blame you. I've met people with children who seemed normal that were fucked up. Fucked up. But you most certainly need to be a part of the solution. I am going to use the $40 that Xavier gave me yesterday on some fucking pancakes. Okay. Okay. I don't know why you're so angry about it. I thought you'd be happy. Well, I'm, do pancakes cost $40 these days? I think you could probably get more than just pancakes, right? All the $40 is going to pancakes? I'm 22 weeks pregnant. It's cold outside. I don't give a fuck if you people like it or not. If you want to be part of the solution, please do. Please tell me how to contact you or any agency or group or funding because I need an apartment. I need an apartment that is safe to raise my family, my three children who are already in existence. They're already taken care of. You don't have 
the world. You don't have to worry about those kids. She's not supposed to see them anyways. But um, I don't know. Someone needs to take this kid right when it's born. Like uh, Latidia. They, they, happy ending there. Off to jail. Now lives. Uh, can't go on social media. Lives with her mom, right? Happy ending. Happy ending. Maybe something like that will happen here. Because I don't think... I don't think the other happy ending is going to happen where Heather just becomes sane or learns from her mistakes or, you know, changes this into a positive in her life. My daughter needs her mother to be prepping her for college next year. She's 17 years old. She was 14 years old when we went into this, living with me five days out of the week, getting all B's and A's in her classes. Her grades have not been that way since then. Her attendance has not been that way since then. Not to harp on the pancakes, but yeah, like you can make pancakes for like $3. And if you're that crafty that you can cook soup with a hairdryer, I think you could find a way to cook the pancakes. Why you gotta spend $40? Maybe pancakes is code for like meth. <laughs> you know? Who pays for that? Because there's most definitely a dollar amount associated with that. When you tie and bound and gag a mother whose responsibility is to be with her children, and you keep this woman in a space where she cannot possibly raise her children. I mean, like, you could throw that logic right back at her. Like, you, when you had your kids, you didn't prioritize them. And you had a responsibility to do that. And now look where you are. So you can't, like, use that as a point and be like, I have a responsibility to my kids. Yeah, you did. And you fucked it up. So. Mm. Who pays for the detriment that follows? You. You do. I've been paying my taxes no. since I had my first job at the age <laughs> yeah. of 14 years old. It's not married anymore. My parents have always paid their taxes. They're property owners, owners of vehicles, owners of houses, and they've been poor and lived outside and had nowhere to go. So... I mean, I w I'm kind of like disappointed that Heather isn't more resourceful then because like if your parents were able to pull it off, like what's your excuse? They've been bullied by law enforcement and law enforcement has assisted them. We've been ignored by the FBI. And as, as far as I know, the FBI is taken over. We don't have the FBI anymore as far as I know. Because if the FBI was in existence, the things that have happened to me that I can solve, logistically, I can solve them. Practically, I don't have the resources, the funding, or the connections to get them solved. But you would think that someone in the FBI with access to every piece of intellectual property in existence, Rolodex, phone numbers, et cetera, and so forth, she actually said Rolodex? Okay, BCG, I saw your story with the Rolodex in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Does she know what a Rolodex is? That's... <laughs> that access to our Rolodex. Yeah. Yeah, their biggest... That's their most... They utilize that. That's a, their biggest asset, the fucking Rolodex. You would think that a person in a position like that would most certainly have the ability and the desire to solve the problems that have been unfolding around me, resulting in repeated assaults, robberies, and other uh, ex nefarious things. You're going to say nefarious? That's nefarious. Why is it every homeless person just called the FBI then? Exploitative behaviors against myself and people like myself or around myself. But they've not. You know how I know they've not? I'm still outside in a fucking tent on the side of the road. She really wants, like, she makes me want to try to go be homeless just to see if I could do it better than her. Because I swear to God, man, it can't be this hard to get off of the street, you know? 
how can I handicap myself? Actually, this is a bad idea. I'd be good for content, though. That's how I know. I'm going for pancakes. Okay. Dope. So that was the FBI pancake stream. Um, <laughs> Rolodex. That was beautiful, bro. <laughs> Rolodex. All right, let me close this. Uh, let me see what day this was on. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, hold on. I made the title super long to see what the... Because I just saw FBI in the title. Um, so this one is from the 16th as well. A couple hours after. Uh, I think she's at... This is the Kong Dog. Kong, Kong Dog one. I think I'm saying that right. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> when I tell you, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, I think it glitched. I have been being targeted. I can't even describe it. Some lady, I'm going to try, okay, but there's no way I can possibly describe it. Some lady just allowed her dog to urinate. Is it really low for you guys? I'm sorry if it is. Um, if I'm too loud, let me know. It's choppy. It's always, it's, ah. Am I chopping? Am I chipping chopping? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chop, chop. I don't know. Let me, <laughs> let me know. Uh, let me just, the Xbox is unplugged. The PS5 isn't, but. I'm just making sure things aren't updating. I don't know. It should. It should be good now. Sometimes it's just difficult. Less than two feet from where I stood. And that was just the icing on the cake of bullshit that I've been going through all day long for several weeks, actually, on and off. Um, we just left the laundromat yesterday. They drenched all of our belongings. Um, it's just been an ambush. And again, law enforcement have done has done nothing to really help me like they don't even when i call them they say uh do you need to schedule a doctor's appointment yeah so you can prove in court that you were graped and then they could press charges so you could get all the nice things that you want like uh, that compensation that probably isn't going to be as much as you're expecting um but at least you get that victim stamp you know but of course she's not going to agree to that the one time i played it on the stream um she was like she refused to give the grape kit to the officer because she, I don't know, the officer wanted to ask her questions. She didn't want to answer them. She was all hopped up on stuff. You know, or, oh, wow, that sounds awful. Um, there's something we can do because it's up to the state of Illinois to pick up the charges. Yeah, we have the report on file, but if the state won't pick up the charges, there's nothing we can do. Let's review. First of all, I'm 22 weeks pregnant. Let me show you. Okay, this is baby number four, 22 weeks. Craving Kong dog. Hold on, let me show you guys. So bad, Xavier wants the fries. I said no fries, only the Kong dog. We walked over here. <coughs> Pardon me. So I guess like she got pancakes and she's got a Kong dog now. She should just be like a mukbanger. Homeless mukbanger, you know? Is there any fat homeless people? Do you guys ever see fat homeless people? I know. After two people who work at 7-Eleven and Stacks, the restaurant Stacks, the pancake house, literally set us up this morning for a huge production of just, like, drama. I go to pick up our breakfast from Stacks Cafe on Milwaukee. Of course, they pay cash. I always pay cash now that these fraudsters are always following us around. And I really can't even keep money. In. Who's the fraudsters? What the hell is she talking about? In my debit account um, anymore. You know, I keep it in a separate account and then I transfer it right before. So, I Well, then you shouldn't have been mad when your checking account got closed today for whatever reason. I don't know why it did. She was freaking out this morning, though. Like, 
And it, <laughs> I was, it was a lot for the morning. I walk in and I go, hey, I'm Heather, um, here to pick up an order. May I use the restroom? Xavier goes to the South 11 across the street to get change. Um, as I said in my other life, he gives me half of the money that his father gives him to repay me for various things. And so that I don't feel like I need to ask him for stuff. To pay you for various things? What do you? What is Xavier paying you for? You're in a relationship, right? Like you should just, you should honestly just be making sure that you have food and anything else should be saving for fucking first and last. And you should be getting a job. But I know that you wrote on the fridge that one day you're like, this is the date. I'm never going to work again because I'm Heather Gillespie. Um, everything I have, I share with him 50-50, and it's the same vice versa. It's been like that since we met. That's just the way it would be for me with anyone. If we don't even necessarily need to be in a relationship. If we're relying on each other for life, if we're sleeping together every night and, you know, carrying our stuff together. And Xavier, <gasps> you just unplugged their whole setup, their TV, their lights, everything. Like, it feels... <laughs> It feels like a TD skit. Like, how the fuck did, did Xavier manage to do that? Like, how did he unplug everything in the fucking place? Bro, bro, I can't. Yeah, they're like parodies of themselves, I swear to God. Babe, I'm being kind of, that's humiliating. Anyways, um, they love doing this. Anyways, um, yeah, so all day with the targeting, that was targeting in itself. Xavier doesn't act that way. Um, so I go in to pick up this order from Six. Xavier, are you not going to share with me? Is this a charade? I like my food warm. I sit at a table when I eat. Is she mad? I thought, hold on. Is she, is she mad today? I thought she was, I thought this was describing another incident. Let me give me a second, guys. Uh, I might be crazy. If we're sleeping together every night and, you know, carrying our stuff together and Xavier, <gasps> you just unplugged their whole I mean, setup, their TV, anyways. their lights, <laughs> everything. Babe, I'm being kind of, that's humiliating. Anyways, um... They love doing this. Anyways. They um, love doing yeah. this. So. Xavier did it. They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. All day with the targeting. That was targeting in itself. Xavier doesn't act that way. Um, so I go in to pick up this order from Six. Xavier, are you not going to share with me? Is this a charade? I like my food warm. I sit at a table when I eat. Why would the food go cold, though? That's. Like, are you doing this because I'm on a live? Because I don't agree. What? We're sorry. Thank you so much. So they stick me with someone who is incapable of treating me with any sort of respect or decency. Who is they? I seen someone comment the other stream that she thinks she's Truman in the Truman show. And I think literally that's what she thinks. Who the fuck is they? Why would they stick you with Xavier? You're with Xavier by choice. This man needs to get a fuck away from you, to be honest. I don't know why he's still with you. It's, his life has gotten way worse since he met you. Like, who is they? For longer than a few hours at a time, but also won't allow me to separate from that person. They don't allow me to be with my children. I have been being abused repeatedly. And what type of abuse do you ask? Oh, rape, um, bludgeoned, so beaten with a tire iron over my head, um, assaulted, being punched repeatedly. I've never been in a fist fight in my life. Um, what else? You spat on the woman? I I find very hard to believe you've never been in a fist fight in your life. You've done all this other stuff, you've never been in a fist fight? Um bludgeon with a tire iron having to have staples in my head jumped and stabbed by three women with screwdrivers my apartment flooded uh, multiple times meaning intentionally filled with sewage water uh destroying most of my belongings furniture and everything 
And when I call the law enforcement officers who showed up on the scene, can you put it in the middle? They say, you have to call the state because they didn't pick up the charges. They made an arrest at the scene. The person was covered in my blood with the weapon in their hand. And it's all on camera. But an arrest wasn't made. Because if you go back to the beginning of the stream, went over the messages where the FOA request said otherwise. You were the uh, assaulter. You the aggravator. You instigated the thing. And then conveniently, I don't qualify for victim services under Marcy's law because the state of Illinois won't press charges. So you're basically telling the story that I don't matter. My life has no value and that people are permitted to rape me, beat me, bludgeon me and stab me with no repercussions to themselves and no rehabilitation to me. The victim is what it sounds like. Now, I've survived all of that. And my biggest gr gripe is that I'm being prevented from earning my own income so that I can be back in my own home, as I have been since I was 18 years old, supporting my three children. Viviana Lewis and Alexis, like the only reasons I still have for breathing. If I didn't have them, I would have killed myself. That's not mental health. That's torture. Why haven't another kid then, Heather? If these, I think you should probably learn how to take care of your first kids first before you decide to have more kids, especially you should probably get a house, get out of homelessness. You know, I have been being tortured. I document all of it here, Insta, Facebook. Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok. I report it to the authorities. I've even gone live calling the FBI. You know what the response has been? Nothing. No, they say like, what did the police told, tell you when you reported all these things and you say, well, I didn't do anything. It's like, well, it's not our jurisdiction. The FBI is for federal shit. This is all technically criminal stuff, right? Like the police, the state attorney, the FBI wouldn't need to get involved with any of this. To laugh in my face. If we're to even believe any of it to be true. To blatantly ignore me. At best, to force me into an ambulance to go to the hospital. To have my open bloody wounds stitched close. Today we wake up and it's the same thing. I go into Saks to pick up our breakfast. Xavier goes across the street to make change so that he could give me the $10 that he's owed, that he owes um, or that he's promised to give me or promised the day before. He walks into Saks after making change and asks the lady if I'm there. And the lady says, no one by my name came. I introduced myself to the woman as soon as I walked in the door. I went nowhere else. I go into 7-Eleven, the woman working says, I say, hi, is my husband here? They know us there. She says, yeah, he's in back and like points to the back. I walk to the back of the store. There's no one there. No one. I go back to the front and I say, he's here. What? I don't know why it's everyone else's responsibility to know what's going on in your life, Heather. It's very strange. Where is he? And she goes, I don't know. Like she didn't just tell me, yes, he was there. I go outside to the middle of the street and start screaming his name as loudly as possible. Because totally normal thing to do if you can't find your husband inside of the 7-Eleven where you thought he was. is just to go in the middle of the street and start screaming, Xavier! You know, I could just picture seeing how Xavier acted in every other instance. Him just hiding behind, like, I don't know, some cans of fucking pop. <laughs> just fucking with her. Because when this happens, whenever someone interferes with him and I... Um, they began abusing me severely, severely abusing me. I mean, sexual, physical, uh, awful abuse, saying vulgar, racist things. It's just awful. I, I won't even repeat it. Um, but no matter what, you know, I've done nothing wrong and I'm standing in the middle of the street trying not to move so that he can't make one of those statements. And I'm screaming, Xavier, Xavier. Xavier in the middle of the six corners waiting for him to come back and find me. Then he comes back and starts screaming at me and making all these random accusations about where I went. I went nowhere. I went into a restaurant, paid for our food, our food, and then went to go meet you at the store. You told me to meet you at where you were making change and you weren't there. His behavior completely off the wall. Not at all Xavier. And what I noticed is that every time they make, I love how when Xavier does something she doesn't like, he's just a different person completely. Like another person is wearing his skin or whatever she said. 
Um, but she's also said that he's kind of like a demon. She's like, a voice that's not Xavier's talked through him and said a bunch of stuff Xavier would never say. And I hear Xavier in the background being like, yeah, that happened. So he's just like, he's fucking with her. I swear to God, he's fucking with her. Um, I don't know if it's to get back for like ruining his life. I don't know if maybe this is his like kink is like to just fuck with homeless women because his parents are rich and this is a different way of life. I don't fucking know, bro. But uh, <laughs> this is some wacky shit. Also, I don't know. Someone named Al tried to me. I don't even know an Al. And I have in my contacts, so that's weird. Make him cross. Maybe it's AI. Maybe AI is trying to call me. Stress. It's not Xavier cross dressing. They're playing us like we're fucking action figures. It's sick. They make him cross dress. When they make him cross dress, that's when all of the other abuse begins. And so I have to wonder to myself, are they sexually assaulting him? What would be the purpose of dressing him in a sports bra and Daisy Dukes? It's freezing cold outside and he's a straight man. <laughs> the producers of the Coco reality show uh, are forcing Xavier to cross dress because she thinks he's being sexually abused by them. I, man. <laughs> it's way better than James Soroka, I'll say that. Why would you do that to someone? It's sick. It's it's sick. And who should be held accountable for all of this? And then I ask the same question on all my social medias, and I'll ask it again. You can cut this in half. And I'll ask it again. I'm not there. I call my children every single day and say, did you have homework? Did you do it? Are you on top of that? I, I, I'm not, I gotta stop pausing. I have very limited control from over the phone. Are they going to pick up the phone? If they do, are they going to be able to talk? Is someone standing on their fucking neck preventing them from communicating with me? And no matter what I do from this remote space, my children don't have their mom there. So if my children don't go to college, my daughter's a senior this year. She got all A's and B's in middle school and grammar school. Since me being, you know, taken from my children. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. I thought she was going to be like, she's gotten all those great, great grades since I was taken from them. I'd be like, yeah, no shit. No fucking shit. I still have custody. Court says I have joint custody. Oh, okay. Actually, I thought she was going to say that they've gone down since she was taken, but she went into court custody. So I think she just kind of made herself look dumb. So who... Or what is responsible for this? And if my children are having or facing adversities in school or otherwise that are going to impact them for the long term, who's going to pay for that? My daughter wanted to be a veterinarian when they got separated from me. I even taught my kids homeschool at one point. That's concerning. That's very concerning. I am... How many years were you homeschooling them, Heather? They might be like way far behind. Who's going to pay for the tremendous amount of destruction in my life? Because I've never oppressed anyone. As a matter of fact, I've offered employment and opportunity to almost everyone that I could. There was never anyone where I was like, oh, you're competent and I have a job. I'm not going to give it to you. I've been sta staffing trade shows. I've been helping people get bartending jobs, brand ambassador jobs, modeling jobs my entire life. My entire You helped Dylan pimp out girls and possibly do some pretty nasty shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Employ people. My entire life. So what is it about me that has caused me to be held outdoors in a tent with no access to plumbing or running water or regular showers? I have to wash myself part by part in random bathrooms or with gallon jugs of water. That's, That's homelessness. It's not right. This is 2023. Poverty should not even be an issue anymore, let alone homelessness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Build a house. Build a house then. I don't know. I want to charge all parties involved. And there is 100%, 100% legal, ethical, civil right violations, human rights violations, 
and other causal abuses that I have endured that do qualify me for several different lawsuits. I have been being withheld legal and medical. The doctors that they have me going to see. Oh, are we going to get into the iron pill conspiracy? I think that was actually last stream. No, it was last stream. Yeah. Maybe she's on to a new conspiracy this week. I have prescribed me a double dose of iron with. Ah, uh, no, we're still on the iron. Okay. Baby aspirin. No, I didn't take it. What is going on here? How do I make it stop? I got it. Okay. So I'm going to start writing words down for bingo. So the next stream, like next Friday, or if like we get bogged down, I do a stream tomorrow. Um, we'll have a bingo card, but we got nefarious. We got what is going on here? Cause she says that a lot too. Um, if you guys can think of any pop them in the chat, I will, uh, write them down here and then I can just copy and paste it into the bingo card generator. How is there still no one in custody over this? Have you ever been jumped and stabbed by three women? Stabbed will be one. Blood and then thing. told by the state's attorney, even though it's on camera and they have their identifications, that no one has picked mm -hmm. up the case? Have you ever been raped, forced to walk outside for five days, withheld sleep and food, be a dark and then held card. down and fucked from behind? It's sick. They have all their proof. They just keep letting it go on. Why? What have I or anyone in the world done to deserve that? To deserve being sexually assaulted in cold blood in a, in a random town where you can't run away, you can't escape. To be forced to walk for five days straight, no sleep at all. At all in so much pain that you cry half of the day you're sitting there disassociating you have no idea what's going on I, I would go to the gym most of the time so that if something bad happened to me at least it was on camera you know so that no one could try to implement me in doing anything wrong i would just work out i would i would abuse my body further with the gym because that would give me adrenaline and i would be able to stay awake i would take buckets of pre-workout it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And that was in 2020, the first year I was separated from my children. And I've been seeing them, you know, once or twice a month. I walk there. I sit outside. I walk 15 hours for the opportunity to hug them for a minute or two. It's disgusting. No one deserves to be treated this way. This is inhumane, degrading, and animalistic. Animal if people like, were treating uh, animals this way, do you think that PETA would, would cease to get involved? They would not. PETA would be at your front doorstep. But we treat humans this way and make it acceptable. I've rescued animals. I've rescued humans. I've offered shelter, food, meals. What more do you want from a person who you've taken everything from? Twice, three times, four times, five times. I work for it. I replace it. They come, steal it or destroy it. And there's record of this on in police reports in Cook County, Lake County, DuPage County, every fucking county in existence in Illinois, pretty much. Barrington, someone broke into Charlie Keene's house while I was staying there into the garage. Charlie Sheen's house? Or who's Charlie Keene? You guys are like firing him away i'm gonna i might be able to do it this stream um because i think i might actually have enough right now even if we just do these ones i wrote down um <laughs> this is a lot of shit the same and keyed my bumper i reported that how would anyone know that i was staying in a gated community in barrington i had never been there before how would they know Gangs of cars on camera pretending to be police chasing me down the street. Me calling 911 on live camera saying, dispatch, I'm being chased by five cars. They're all black. None of them have offered me any badge. Can you verify these are real officers? And being told, no, I cannot verify. Still no assistance with legal. I was arrested for that. It's disgusting. 
I have no criminal record. I have a bachelor's mm. degree. I have three uh -huh. children who I've been the primary custodial parent of their entire lives from the moment they were born. That is already on the bingo card. Primary joint custody. A word that doesn't exist in the legal system. Until 2020, when Dylan Smith was released from the IDOC and my entire life exploded. I don't know what he's involved in. I have ideas of numerous different things he could or could not be involved in. What does that have to do with anything? And why would you continue to call, to harm me, a person he clearly doesn't give a fuck about and probably never did? My biggest crime to society is being compassionate. Being pushed to the ultimate limit hundreds of thousands of times. Being rolled over, being robbed. When is it my turn to strike back? And how does a person who refuses to get into a physical altercation strike back or take action against people who are urinating in their space, on their tent, a foot from their shoes, taking a shit and wiping their dirty butt and putting the baby wipes they use to wipe the poop. What are you talking about now, Heather? What the, like, <laughs> that face. I, do you think this happened? I don't know. I mean, like, she is homeless. There's going to be other crazy homeless people for sure, but. Um... Three feet away from my head where I'm sleeping so that I wake up in the morning and discover it. My children wouldn't do that. My six-year-old, when my children were six, five, wouldn't do that. They would know if you wipe your butt, you put the tissue in the, in the trash, right? Do we not all know that? I have never wiped my ass and then put the tissue into the trash. It's like, the, the, it goes in the toilet, toilet paper. It's in the name. And that you shouldn't be putting fucking shitty toilet paper in the trash. Heather. Heather. <laughs> this crazy lady. No wonder you're homeless. If there's any kids listening, if kids. you go potty, where do you put the garbage when you're done? The toilet or the trash can, right? If someone tells you no, they don't want to hug, do you hug them anyway? No. You don't. You respect them. You give them yeah. their space. If someone is sad and crying and they ask you to please stop being mean to them, you walk away or you say sorry, right? You didn't even go in. You didn't set anything down. I really wish I could hear what he's saying. We're almost wrapped up on this stream, though. Um, and the bingo card is almost made, guys. So what kind of theme do you actually enjoy? We're going to do a spooky theme because it's Halloween. Uh, well, it's October, so it's going to be spooky theme all the time. Go check. Um, yeah, I'm clear for space. It's just not right, and it's not fair, and everything that's going on is so crooked and so wrong. And I'm tired of making these lives where I beg for the most minimal amount of decency. No one should have to ask for that, let alone beg for it, let alone ask for it numerous times. No one, especially not a decent human being. Thank you. I don't know what else to say on the subject, you guys. I feel sick. I feel feverish. Um, my body's hurting. I haven't slept indoors since uh, I lost the twins. I was pregnant with twins um, and they both died um, in my body. I don't know how they didn't do an autopsy, but, um, I was going to the doctor having regular prenatal care. Um, I wasn't even really drinking caffeine during that time. Pinned at the top. And we got an Airbnb with, I was working full time at a company called Gitsier. Um, and we were living in Airbnbs, Xavier and I, um, which was a very brief, uh, interlude to the forced homelessness that took place again at the uh, release of Dylan Smith and rate number Y12173 from the IDOC um, and the filming of the show Love After Lockup. Um, I've had my own home since 18 years old, so dealing with homelessness, living in the car, being chased and abused, it's all new to me. 
Um, I've always advocated for people when I see them being mistreated to the best of my ability. Um, I feel like this treatment is unjust, immoral, and ethical. Uh, I'm not unwilling or incapable um, of being spoken to like a respectable adult, but no one takes the opportunity to do so. Um, days go by and my children aren't permitted to call me or text me. I don't have any drug problems. I don't have any problems with the law. Um, I mean, both of those statements are incorrect, but obviously you have problems with the law. That's very easy to look up. Actually, the problems with the law have to do with drugs as well. There was a Coke charge. You've also been on camera saying that you've done duster. It's just like, if your life's this documented at this point, why even lie about it? Like, it just makes you look crazy. Like my hair, like how my hair is crazy today. I have no explanation. I've petitioned the court seven times in person as well as electronically to see a judge about everything that's gone on. And they've blatantly just not given me a court date, told me that someone will call me for follow-up. No one ever calls. I have at least 50 police reports on file in every neighborhood that you can imagine. Like I said, from Barrington to Lombard to Elmhurst to Chicago. None of them follow up. And when I call the state's attorney for victim services, I'm told that charges were not filed against those individuals, even though arrests were made on the scene of the crime. If you're going to let people rape me, then you at the very least should give me my home back and offered me some therapy. Right? If you're not going to press charges so that the system will help me. If you're going to look the other way and let them get away with hurting me like that over and over and over. I like how she made it the system's fault. Like, let's say this actually happened. It's like the system was supposed to prevent this from happening. I mean, should have well, I accidentally pressed space for, I mean, technically they tried to by putting laws in place that all that illegal activity you were involved with, all those nefarious things that probably led to, let's say if there was something like that, that happened, a grape. Um, yeah, they were probably, that would have been the preemptive measures. At the very least be some victim services rendered, should there not? So anyways, I went into preterm labor with the twins December 26th. I up in, um, in an Airbnb that. where we were staying on the north side, Addison and I believe Costner, right by the Home Depot and the Family Dollar and stuff over there. It was Christmas. We went to Jewel. I got a bunch of stuff to cook. And that's where her live ended. <laughs> Maybe they were like, we're sick of you, Heather. You got to get out of here, man. Um, all right. That was that was a stream. All right. <laughs> now we're on. We're about halfway through the live streams. We haven't even got. So this one's 19. Wait, is this the same one? Oh, wait, no, no, no. So it like. I remember what happened now. It like skipped, well not skipped, it got frozen on that and then she came back and this is the the continuation. So same day, basically. I think I said the 16th before, I'll double check, but yeah, 16th. Sorry, I feel like I'm getting a fever. I don't care anyways, because when I go to the hospital, which I've done like 20 times. That wasn't in sync, but okay. It's great. Sounds like another setup, but whatever. Um, what was I saying? The the audio is not matching the video at all. Hold on, let me see if we can we can get this work in here. Come on. Sounds like another setup, but whatever. Might be hers. I might not be able to fix that. Sorry, guys. Um, what was I saying? They stay on bullshit, you guys. It's crazy. Um, but anyways, so I cut this in half. Oh, no, that's good. Now. I, um, that was weird. We were weird. staying in an Airbnb in near Addison. Again, I always paid for all of our Airbnbs. Xavier was not working. Um, he would literally come with me to my job to drop me off and make sure no one attacked or harmed me and then pick me up at my job when I would get off. Um, very difficult time. Uh, and I worked there from uh, about October, fall, 
through the time that I lost the babies um, to preterm labor. So I cooked Christmas dinner uh, for both of us. I cooked banana, um, vanilla, banana, chocolate eclair for dessert. It was delicious. I cooked everything, turkey. It's crazy because like, I don't even know if we're going to get to that part. We're what, an hour and a half through and we're only halfway through the live streams. Haven't even gotten to the stories yet. Um, Maybe I'll just go extra long. Um, eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. Ham, potatoes, corn, stuffing, the whole works, everything. By 1 a.m., I'm going to look outside. And if it's still cloudy, then I will keep streaming if we're still streaming at 1 a.m. But if it's not cloudy, then I'm going to watch the meteor shower. So that'll be the cutoff if, uh, I don't know. And I paid for this Airbnb for us. And I thought, you know, this is great. Well, I went into preterm labor um, Christmas Day, and the babies were born uh, about less than four hours later. I didn't really realize that I was in active labor until it was too late to stop. And even if we could have gotten to the hospital, which we have no car, um, there was nothing they could do. They were too early to be too young to be born. 20 weeks is too young. Um, my face is so swollen. So the babies passed away. Um, I have three children already and the children knew that I was pregnant. So imagine what they're going through again. They don't have their mom to be there to pardon me, hold their hand through all of this trauma. You guys continue to traumatize me and my life with no regard. And I'm not talking to, to everyone. You know, if the message is for you, you'll feel it in your heart. You know who you are. You'll just know. You'll feel it in your heart if something's meant for you. The contributors to this. You know who you are. And um, I feel as though it was intentional. Um, I feel as though they don't care about the effect that their abusive nature has on myself or my family. Thought she wasn't going to eat. That's a French fry, right? Or is that just she is she eating the corn dog like cut up like a maniac, like a rich person would? I can't remember. I think it was Seinfeld, but like someone was eating it like a candy bar with a knife and fork. Is that what she's doing? Babe, can I have a napkin, please? Thank you. Um No, those are fries. I just feel like Too much has happened, and I've taken too much action, intentional action, at sharing what has happened for them to not know. So when things continue to happen, like what happened with Xavier and I earlier today, or all of the stops where people from the past who I haven't seen in years and who maybe I don't, I'm, I don't really know, never really knew, don't know if I could trust, have expressed numerous times I'm afraid of even, they'll bring those people around me. And they'll have them literally just wherever I am, just be there intimidating, just their presence alone, standing there to intimidate. And it's confusing to me because what is the goal? I've never stabbed anyone. I've never punched anyone. I've never kicked anyone. I've never attacked anyone. I've never robbed anyone's home. It's funny that a lot of the things she has done, she just lists off. I haven't done any of these things. Well, then why are bringing them up? Yeah, those, it's funny because she was like, I like my food warm. I like to sit at a table, but I'm going to cause a big ruckus in the store. So we get kicked out and I'm, I'm going to talk way too much. So by the time I eat my food, it's going to be freezing. I've never broken into anyone's apartment. I lived at Montclair with a lease in hand in 2021. For what about David, though? Six months, a lease in only my name, and fake cops batter rammed the door down and threw me into the street. But I couldn't get a police response when I was being raped in the street, or when police, uh, when people were breaking into my home, stealing my food, my money, my clothing. You know what's even? It, it is. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be next to someone while they go on about this stuff. Uh, <laughs> It's like, oh my God, yeah. On security camera. So we have it on camera that this has been happening. I can prove easily that this has been happening. 
but law enforcement has no explanation for why they refuse to intervene. The state has no no response for why they refuse to pick up the case and press charges. Make it make sense. Four years. I don't think anyone can make Heather make sense. Who's going to pay for the trauma of losing twin babies December 26th? Being let go from my p- job because I went into preterm labor. Did she really have a job back in December? Because that seems like, well, I guess it would be almost a year now. Did she have a job back then? Being attacked in the street, having strangers bring their animals to urinate in or around where we are. Yeah, intentionally. They're like, yo, you need <laughs> you need to go out, boy? You need to go out? All right, we're going to go over to Heather Gillespie's tent, okay? Let's go. Who's going to charge these people? Am I supposed to live the rest of my life this way? You know, I told Xavier earlier, I said, I don't have a criminal record, but if I were in prison, they have a toilet. We don't. They get showers daily. We don't. They get fed three meals a day. There were periods of time when Xavier and I would go several days with only sharing one meal not being allowed to sleep Mm -hmm. because we were being robbed when we would close our eyes. The pants on my body were ripped off and cut all around the waist while I was asleep. Clearly I was dosed with some sort of illegal substance because I don't do drugs. I don't, I've never done drugs. That cocaine charge. That was, uh, what was it? It's a miss. They misidentified me as uh, as an imposter. How would I have not woken up for people to cut the pants off of my body? But still, law enforcement has not intervened, and I've not received any settlement, and no one has given me the restitution I'm entitled to move back into my home and live with my children as I have their entire lives. I just imagine like she cuts, she comes up with these crazy idea. She's like, I bet you if I cut all my clothes and make it look like I got graped and then uh, that'll be enough evidence. They can, they can give me compensation. Why is that? Does anyone understand it? Cause I most certainly do not. As I said, as an adult, I'm completely traumatized by the things that you people have done to me. I'm still functional. I could still go to work every day. I could still earn money. I'm still an excellent communicator. So I've been living in the most disgusting adversities amongst the most treacherous, treacherous excuses for existence disrespectful womanizing racist even not because i want to because when i take off running in the opposite direction they curate and it they they curates on the uh the bingo card if anyone has it Ooh, i get i should have put they i'm gonna put it for the next bingo card i'm gonna write it down because uh, they is always mentioned Hack against me physically they are holding me against my will essentially do you not understand and they're not even doing Mm -hmm. so inside a fucking apartment they're not even doing so with my children if you're gonna trap me somewhere why not put me and my children together in an apartment doesn't that make sense a woman is raped beaten robbed and abused in the street reports it all to law enforcement in six jurisdictions And calls the FBI numerous times and there's still no investigation started and no arrests have been made. I'm confused. Most recently, I was attacked by a police officer in Schiller Park. Pregnant, visibly pregnant. Oh, is she talking about the the crazy video that I have actually been meaning to play for a few streams now? But it's just like these weekly updates have gotten... (laughs) because <laughs> it's hard to do any deep tracks when she does this shit um i wonder if that's the one because it was a park it was at a park but the police officer is just doing his job i don't think he was attacking her 
with witnesses for literally doing nothing. Yeah, I, it, I'm confused too. I was going to say that's probably the most accurate statement she said, but I, I didn't get to the <laughs> space burn time. Refused a lawyer and refused medical. Locked in a in a cell, a three foot by five foot cell for about two hours, and then no charges were ever pressed because I didn't do anything wrong at all. That case still hasn't been picked up either, state of Illinois. So is it the state of Illinois that's trying to hurt me? How could I assume anything other than that? If the only people who have the power to stop what's going on or offer restitution for what's going on are the state, and the state is taking the adamant approach of not charging, how could I think anything other than the state is out to get me or against me? I mean, a paranoid person, but no. Xavier Chancla, uh, does anyone ever think that these lives are her trying to communicate or address to Dylan, or am I pulling a Heather and overthinking? I think, like, because she, it's like she's talking to Dylan, but at the camera. And obviously, oh, wait. I, my brain read that as Xavier, or I read it as Dylan. I said Dylan, but my brain processed it as Xavier. I think she's saying this shit to Xavier while he's like sitting right next to her, but she's like, but maybe it's Dylan as well. I can see it being both. She's like everything else, or yeah, everything is someone else's fault. It's not her fault ever, right? If law enforcement continues to tell me over and over, Heather, we're on your side. We like you. We know you're a good person. We know you're not out here hurting people. We have done everything in our in our power that we can do. We've written all of this up. We've submitted it to the state of Illinois. We've investigated over and over again. We have the proof. We're on your side. We know what you're saying is true. And the state of Illinois refuses to pick up the case. And every time I walk into the state of Illinois uh, department, there's a big, huge lady sitting at 555 West Harrison and the Daily Center. Um, light skinned black lady. I don't know her name. I have it written down who gatekeeps and refuses to let me even speak with an advocate or the state of Illinois, she says, hold on a second, I'll let you tell them in one minute, give me one second. I walk in there with a police report and she's overlooking the police report and says the only people who are able to speak with the state are the people who the state can pick up cases against. So you must come in with an actual printout of your police report. They don't give a fuck about us. They're looking for con to, to increase their conviction rate is what it seems like. But that doesn't even make sense because both of the cases that are violent against me, the stabbing. Yeah, I was going to say, you're just about to disprove your own point because if they wanted conviction rates up, they would just be taking your word for anything. I'd be like, yeah, throw them in jail. I was jumped and stabbed by three women with screwdrivers on camera with five or six civilian witnesses and three or four responding police officer witnesses taken by ambulance had all my clothes cut off my body, my vehicle covered in blood splatter. And detectives said the state has to be responsible for picking up and the state says the detectives have to submit more proof. What more proof do you need? They followed me from the prison. You told them to. You're like, let's take it outside. Me Cash me outside. And then, um, again, we already went over this at the beginning of the stream. You were the instigator. You were the aggressor. Um, you spit on them. You, you instigated everything. No, I'm bludgeoned. I, I can't even help but to laugh at this point. Also cry. Beaten up by a man with his fists and I really wish I was closing tabs after I showed them or else I'd be pulling them up right now. I, I <laughs> let me see if I still I should still have them. Oh, yeah. Laying on the ground bleeding and he goes I back to my car and gets the tire iron out of my back seat and comes back and starts whacking me and whacking me and whacking me and blood is flying everywhere until finally three truck drivers pull over, jump out of their vehicles and the man takes off running. Law enforcement pulls up right after them, pursues him on foot to the gas station across the street. All of this is on camera. Broad daylight. No arrests were made. So Heather gets no victim services. Poor Heather. No restitution.
And then after all of that, I survived all of that. You expect us when, when you're victimized in that way. And that's not even including the sexual assault where I was forced to walk for five days, very little food, nowhere safe indoors to sleep until I got so tired that I would have slept anywhere. And a person who I assumed was sent by Alfredo, one of my friends. Um, Literally, that should have been the caption of the stream, except it's con dog. But yeah, this is like a ma'am. This is a Wendy's thing. Like, what the fuck? This is not the venue to be doing any of this. You, you crazy lady. Offered me a hotel room <laughs> with no strings attached. Offered me a job at O'Hare Airport working in delivery. I thought my problems were over. Brought me to a hotel room isolated in Elk Grove Village with, when I had no car on five days of no sleep and sexually assaulted me. I had no energy to even try to fight him off. None. Nobody picked up that case either. No one even bothered to investigate it. But I reported it. You know what happened when I went in and reported it? I was put in handcuffs and arrested. She's like, you know what? New things spark into my brain every time I'm like taking these long sessions watching Heather. And if anyone is listening to her, if any person who has actually been graped or anything or has been a victim of anything is listening to her and taking this in, they're going to think that there's no point of contacting the police because they're going to be turned into um, the, the criminal and they'll get fucking charges on them. Like, this is not good. I really hope no one listens to this bitch. Like, I'm... I don't like calling women bitches either. <laughs> normally, normally, but like it's getting to this point where like it's Heather, Heather. Like I don't even call Queen of Spade a bitch. Like fucking, but I don't like. It's just, it's always something. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. I swear to God, on everything I love, I wish that this shit was a lie. I swear to God, to you guys, I called. King County, not King County, um, Kenosha County. I'm sorry, I'll let you say what you were going to say about the Schiller Park Cop in one sec. I went, I called Kenosha because I want to know, is our local government in Chicago corrupted, taken over, collapsed? Or is this like a larger issue? Because I don't, I don't, it's been four years, you guys. I don't know what to do anymore. If I ever knew. Do you want to be on camera? Xavier, Xavier, buddy, what is going on here? You're looking rough. Very rough. Right. I didn't hear a damn thing, but that's Xavier, guys. I think he needs help. So then after <laughs> we gotta save this man. They're gonna try to stage an event to try to put me in the custody. Well, and I agree. So. Say that again. I can't hear you. I guess I see that thing in the background, though. I think that's what he unplugged. I don't know how he could. I guess maybe he was trying to charge his phone or something. But yeah, drop the Tumblr, X. I want to see this Tumblr. Maybe I don't want to see this Tumblr, actually. That made me... A staged event. Don't say BL a moment because that's way too huge and ambiguous and people can misinterpret it or say it's racist yeah. or whatever they want. What we mean is some event where your civil liberties are stripped from you and it doesn't matter what you do. There is no right answer. You're going down. You're targeted. They're blaming you whether you did it or not. It's you. And that is what they did. That's exactly what they did. We were in Schiller Park. We left from that situation. So anyone uh, listening and not seeing any comments pull up, it's exit the police. We're going to stage a BLM moment against him. That's an interesting conspiracy. ...and tried just to get out of there. We were on our way, 15-hour walk to bring my kids food and clothes. And we started walking in the opposite direction. And I swear to God to you, all three of the officers who assaulted me, the one witness to the assault and the two who actually physically assaulted me with premeditation, with malic malicious intentions, approached me with gloves already on. With Melissa intentions wanted a fight i was laying down on a yoga mat in a public space minding my own business i don't do drugs i don't do drugs i swear to god guys i don't do drugs <laughs> i don't i don't party i don't 
stay out all night being a fucking hooligan. Excuse me. Um, and they followed us block by block in their cars, shining their spotlight on us, telling us that they weren't going to stop till we got out of their jurisdiction. I'm not a, I'm not a criminal. I'm not an addict. I don't steal. What is your justification for this? How do you justify this? The what? If you want, I'm fine with this and the salad. I'm fine with the salad for dinner and this. I'm fine. Um, and not only is it staged and curated, it's illegal and unlawful. And I've asked numerous times patiently for it to stop. Patiently. And rather than it stopping any time that I actually, you know, give up. They insinuate that there's something worse happening to the people I love so that I get back up. When I lived at Montclair, someone went into the unit next to me and antagonized me for 20 hours a day sometimes, telling me, kill yourself, bitch. If you kill yourself, we won't hurt your kids. Kill yourself, bitch. I swear to God. Some other person antagonizing me through the wall at Montclair said to me, you want your family back? You miss your kids? Well, are you willing to me and six of my buddies? I'll take it to them right now. I, I did catch this part when it was live, and I was like, whoa, Heather, what's this new story? I've got them. I'm holding them. All of this was reported to Montclair, uh, to Harwood Heights Law Enforcement. I have police reports on file, security footage. That doesn't stop them. They're still doing it. I don't like this fake waterwork shit. Unless she's like convinced herself this somehow happened. Because she is crazy, right? But if she's intentionally doing this, which I'd have to like assume she is. Because I'm operating a little bit bad faith just on previous things I've seen on Heather up to this point. I, yeah. No, I don't think. Um, I don't like that. I don't like the fake tears. I miss my family. Because it's always so selective. She talks about this shit every fucking day. You think you'd be past the point of it affecting you? You know what I mean? If you can, all the other times, talk about it with a smile on your face, but this one time, when you want a little bit of extra oomph, you're gonna bust out the waterworks. Fuck that shit. Um, everything always ties back to Dylan because I'm 36 years old and I've only missed four sets of holidays with my family. Do you know what they were? The year Dylan got home, the year after Dylan got home, last year, and this year. I don't know why. I miss my babies. Like I said before, if my daughter or my son are having problems at school, I don't know. Not because I don't try to find out, but because they're not letting me know. Not the kids. Anyone. People are actively coordinating with each other to keep me out of the loop. And if my child who wanted to be a veterinarian uh, and wanted to go to college after you know school, and I'm not a big college advocate. I went, but I broke my back going and look what it did for me. I couldn't find a job. You know, I worked very hard with two toddlers, a full-time job at Northwestern Hospital. And I already had a best, I already had an associate's degree or associate's degree credits. So I wanted to go for bachelor's and I went online at AIU and it didn't get me shit. <laughs> Look at me. So I never pressed into my kids about college. If you want to go great, if not, we'll find something that you love. But my daughter wanted to go and she was enthusiastic about being a veterinarian and she was happy and excited. She was 14 years old. That's old enough to have an inkling of what you love and what, what sets your soul on fire, right? What, what makes your, your soul wake up and, and, gives you desire to keep living if my kids now because of what's been going on with me and all of the victimizations that you've dragged me through for the past four years can't get into college whose fault is that who pays for that do they have to pay for the rest of their lives because you people have been oppressing me for the last three years so they haven't had an actual parent is that their fault three innocent children do they have to suffer for the rest of their lives or make less money 
or live with more trauma because of the way I've been handled or ignored. None of this is new. Everyone involved has known my story since they became involved. If I tell you that I say this every day, and if you go into my live sections and see how many times I've explained all of this. She's not lying. She does. She brings, I mean, like this one kind of new one from this week, but uh, everything else is, yeah, this is the same thing. Um, oh, yeah, we, we got like 40 seconds left. So I, once this is hit the end, I'm going to take a quick smoke break. Just a quick one, you know, like a quick minute. I'll let something play while I go, though, so you guys aren't left with nothing. Um, hey. There are too many times to count. If they tell you they didn't know they're lying. Do something about it. Give me the restitution that I deserve. Tell me what the fuck is going on here and why I've been being separated from my children. What is going on? Let me go home. Replace my home. Replace my car. You make like a, a Heather doll. And when you squeeze it, it says all her catchphrases. What is going on here? I've been beaten. <laughs> Do something about it. Stop hurting me. Please. Oh, she looks evil there. Okay. So you can tell by this face, this is going to be a totally normal, coherent video. Uh <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me. Dun, 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 dun. It wouldn't let me pull up the other ones. I have my tabs on vertical mode right now, so I can have this like this. And apparently, I can't put things in them when it's like this. I don't know why, but it's okay. Uh, all more reason to go to BCG's page to see. I just wanted to pull up the the thing about the FOA request, the Freedom of Information. But uh, you guys can go check it out in their stories. So uh, this is only seven minutes long. I can't remember exactly what this is. Uh, but I'll let it play out. I'll hear it in the background. Uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. We just did the photo shoot for uh, my 23rd week of pregnancy. So this is her live stream after she did like the Coco Pumpkin Belly shots and everything. Uh, and this would have been on... Do, 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 do. the 17th so the day after yeah 17th and wow there it came out really cute do you want to see what we're about to do we're about to do coco pumpkin belly in remembrance of coco pumpkin booty and in honor of the evolution of art and yeah, that's about it. Haven't you guys know the story? I don't need to say it right now. I miss my kids. Um, haven't been able to reach Alexis in 20 weeks. Every single day, talk about the same three things. Alexis, Viviana, Lewis, what's going on? Please someone tell me. So, had a good maternity shirt uh, shoot, doing the second half of the shoot trying to get the creative juices flowing. I was thinking of drawing yesterday. I went to Target and I found sketchbooks on sale for four bucks, you guys. Everybody who knows me knows that Target is my favorite store, especially when I'm feeling depressed. Um, we got a candle and we're super responsible with it. Um, I only put it three feet or more from any, any like material. Um, and smells really good. It's called holiday cheer. <laughs> and then oh, my belly is so big now. So I need to get a body pillow. Um, I need to get a body pillow. You see how much space is here from the floor to my belly when I lay like this? Because if I lay on my back too long, I start getting nauseous and can't breathe. So I have to go from side to side. And so Xavier's here uh, on this side and he has, I gifted him my old um, sleeping bag, you guys. And I just feel like I gave away like one of my most prized possessions. Like I, t I take such good care of my stuff, which is not like common I'm finding. So, okay, anyways, um, 
it's uncomfortable to sleep, you guys. I'm really uncomfortable. And if the sponsors could please hurry up with helping with some sort of long-term solution, um, we would be super grateful. You know, I'd love to be back with my children, drive my own car to doctor's appointments. and You know what I mean? But whatever. We had a great maternity, maternity shoot um, just now. We're going to continue it with some creativity, Coco Punk and Belly from the tent to go into the series for GoPro Solo. Um, I have several tent tent uh, featured photo shoots. So I, we try to just have fun with them. Um, I also have the series, The Beauty is in the Contrast. Um, we also, I also have the series, um, Beauty is in the Contrast this or that um i'm sorry guys i can't think right now i'm, I'm out of breath all right um i don't think it's good to do the pumpkin belly thing based off the pumpkin booty thing uh <laughs> i don't know if i have did, uh, did we pull that up last time i don't think i actually pulled it up last turn I think I learned about it after last stream, but she did like this, I guess, teaser or something for her OnlyFans at the time where she painted her ass like a pumpkin and it was like pumpkin booty. So that's what this is. Uh, the pumpkin belly is based off of that, apparently. But OK, so thank you guys. And I'm about to post the maternity shoot photos and um I love my dark eyebrows. I haven't worn them in like a month, probably. But um, I know what I need, you know? I need micro, pro probably derming and planing all around my face and eyebrows. I need micro needling around this tissue. I need uh, lamination around my eyebrows and pigment on my eyebrows and i need um you don't need any of this you should just be focused on keeping yourself healthy for the baby probably another half a vial of juvederm i did not see that i think I a little bit want of to botox if anything right here maybe just 20 units right here other than that i think i'm fine Thank you for asking. No, I haven't been. So for my workouts, I, you guys know about the cart, right? This fucking heavy ass 300 pound cart. You have no idea. This cart is tremendous. It used to be a U-Haul like moving cart. And um, everything I had in there, the novel, the everything was just heavy. It was very heavy. All in all, it probably weighed between two and 300 pounds. Well, we pushed, I pushed it specifically because Xavier had his own cart. Yeah, they're down to one now. With a bicycle on top of it a couple of times. Like, we have been very active since this pregnancy started. I've done probably 100 miles of biking, um, at least that. I say double that. I say close to 200 miles in uh, biking, but whatever. I was biking everywhere, and at least that and pushing that heaviest cart. So... Now that we got to five months pregnant. If you're biking, maybe you should have pulled the cart on the bike. <laughs> this, that would have been better, right? We decided not to, you know, each push separate carts and to try to condense everything that we have because the belly is just getting um, tremendous, you know, and it's not going to get smaller. <laughs> so, I mean, it will get smaller eventually. It's not that tremendous, but my black, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Actually, but not until I have the baby. So there's that. And then um, other than that, I just wear ankle weights and we walk around everywhere. Everywhere. We we For every one day that we don't walk anywhere, our minimum distance walking is still like close to a mile. So we're just very, very, very active. Maybe once a week we don't move the tent. This week it's been twice, I think, but that's very rare. Um, and that's about it.
what music is this? They're listening to like Rancid or something. Like, <laughs> I don't, I've never listened, heard them listen to music, I don't think. That's about it, you guys. I'm so preoccupied today. Um, oh, shout out to Chicken Shack, delicious food, potato salad, chicken, rice. Have leftovers. Absolutely loved it. Thank you so much. Um, and Target, thank you too for everything. Why? Why are we looking at this? I love you guys. Um, except for some of you that are awful and mean. And to those to those people, I wish you love, uh, just not from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how Xavier's music, I think Vader just turned it off. I like Xavier's music. I I could chill with Xavier. Actually, I don't know if I could chill with Xavier. Xavier seems like a very strange man, bro. Um, we're almost done the lives, though, guys, after two hours. Whoa. All right. Um, that's all right. I actually, I took a nap, a little nap today, and I'm a little more energized. And while I was smoking, I ate a bunch of ice cream and got a head freeze, so I'm energized. Um, oh, that's what I'm looking for. I want to see what day this is from. Okay, so this is from the 17th as well, and then the other two are from the 18th, and then she didn't, it doesn't look like she did a live stream on the 19th. If she did, then I don't have a copy of it, or I missed it, or I just... Uh, I'm not going to get into specifics of why everything's like this right now. Um, but yeah, this is from the 17th. It's only three minutes. Hi, right, guys. So we just got done shooting the maternity shoot for 23 weeks. I'm 23 weeks pregnant now. Um... I'm a little depressed. It came out. I swear she's at least 24 weeks, if not 25. Unless, like, she just got the 22 weeks wrong at the beginning when I first recognized her. It looks cute. Um, and I'm looking forward to making a week by week booklet of these in place of a baby book. I made traditional baby books for all of my other three children. I made them like the ones where you put their first lack of hair and their first tooth, like a straight up psychopath um, in each of them and like photographs of like everything and detailed notes. Um, so they each had probably like three or four um, partially completed ones and then like one or two like pretty much completed ones or not completed, but like from like one to three. Um, all three of them and Alexis there wasn't really Facebook it was Facebook wasn't like what it was um, when my children were born the big kids I don't even think I had one when Viviana was born I think I made my first one like a couple after a couple years after she was born She's 17 now what is she what is she going on about Facebook about um, I think you know why I say I think because I can't believe four years has, has passed since I got thrown out of my own home. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I was going to say, it's only three minutes. If she doesn't ramp it up soon, we just skip it. And that she was 14, um, 13 and a half when all this happened. Hmm. Or 14. And it's been, yeah, four years. I didn't years. know that. It's 2023. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, anyways. I mean, I could see... Yeah, at least on weed or like an opiate. Hopefully she's not doing fucking fentanyl or something with a kid inside her. She shouldn't be doing weed either, to be honest. But like, I guess that's the safest drug to do if you're going to do anything. So we did the shoot. I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm a little depressed about not being able to get a hold of the children. It's been 20 weeks since I've been able to reach my youngest child. I took her to the park in, on May 26th. Um, her father came back and told me she had a dance recital that Thursday. It started texting me like an hour later saying, don't call anymore. I have no idea why. Um, my dad thinks it's something that he saw on social media. My family doesn't understand. Like these people are psychopaths. The shit that they say on social media is mostly not true. And the stuff that is true, they take out of context and like scare my family. The OB Jin, 
the Obi Jin. It's kind of like Obi Wan Kenobi, but Obi Jin. That's what I'm... I gotta go to the Obi Jin, guys. So, anyways, um, I hope everyone's having a good day. We're having a much better day than the last two days, which were complete trash. And um, it's because I got some drugs today. Ew, a bug. Stop. Please get that out. Oh my god, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to keep up with the saga of civil rights and human rights and all the other issues, stop eating all the crunches. Those are my favorite. You're supposed to be eating the butterfingers. Xavier's just like playing with bugs, eating all the crunchies, fucking stoned out of his mind. <laughs> it's, just, it's like she's he's like a kid, I swear. Why are you showing us this, Heather? She looks like older here now. It's what the fuck? Anyways, my personal blog, Coco dot Chanel C H A N E L L E dot Y S L. I will talk to you later. Nope. Well, I guess yeah. This is a scary one. I don't know. This might have been the video. That caused all the problems for me today. Um, because look at this. Look at how it's like this. It's like um, it should be like this, but it's like this. I don't know. Anyways, this is uh the painting pumpkin uh the belly. The belly. It's only seven seconds. Why do I even have this? We're not even gonna show. <laughs> There's no fucking point. I know I have other ones of like. What was that? That must have... Hmm, I wish I knew that earlier. That's okay. Um, this is like 49 minutes. I can't get through that. It's going to be midnight soon. Um, fuck. Ah, we'll, see. we'll just... We'll see where it goes. When the views start going down, I'll dip. It'll be fine. And if it, if we do we don't if we don't get through everything I'll come back tomorrow I promise I don't think I have a scheduled Saturday stream anyways I just do the news on Sunday so I can do a, I can do a Saturday one for you guys. I'm doing my makeup. This is a very basic way to watch someone do makeup. I woke up it's at better. four in the morning, but then I was just like, why, you know? 23 weeks pregnant. Um, it's like every time she gets to a new week, she's like evolved a little bit. She's a different Heather now. She's 23 weeks pregnant. She's level 23 now, guys. Getting ready to go get some food from the tent. We had a really, really great day yesterday with only minimal amounts of harassment and aggravation. So that was fabulous. If we could find a way to keep up with that kind of cadence, that would be fantastic. How is everyone doing? What do we do if the government's been shut down? Mr. Kenny, how you doing, buddy? Can you guys hear it? Okay? It's really low for me, so I hope you guys can hear it okay. And if my voice is too loud, I can either talk quieter or I can just like turn the Maybe the vibe. It should just auto regulate. Also, I wrote out uh, some info on um, the campaign that I'm most eager to start working on, which is the resolution of poverty and homelessness in the United States of America and world. You're taking that on? She's like a, you know, there's like. 12 year old beauty contestants or maybe even less they're like oh, what what do you want to do with your life i'm gonna solve homelessness and world hunger heather you can't, you, you can't if you can't solve your own homelessness what makes you think you're gonna solve the world's homelessness problem like and i solved it so that's dope um on top of that uh, <laughs> so that's dope. I miss okay. my kids. Viviana said she might have a cold. I asked her if she wanted me to come out there and bring her chicken soup, and she said no. Rude. 
I feel like, of course, she does want me to come out there. You know, she just feels like daughter's guilt because she knows I'm out here like. Daughter's guilt? I don't know if that's a thing, bro. Going through it with regards to the housing situation. And she feels guilty to ask me to come out there, which is so like her. No. Um, you haven't known your kids for like six years, right? How do you know what they're like? I feel like I should insist, but then she's like, I'm really not even sick. And when I go out there, the last few times, it's been very difficult to spend any time with them. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're not supposed to be there and you're not supposed to see them. So you got to come up with nefarious ways to see them, like convincing other people or calling the school to say, yeah, yeah no, I'm supposed to pick them up today. Or, you know, you can come bring them to this park so I can see them when I'm not supposed to because the fucking court says I'm not supposed to. You know what the heck has gone on or is going on? Um, my dad says they're just normal teenagers, like living their lives, but I don't think so, you guys. My kids are not like that. Like me and my kids are very close. We've always been very, very close. And it's just weird, you know? I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna get down about it and ruin the entire day again. Is there any family member that she doesn't go show up to their job? Like she called fucking well, she showed up to her mom's job as well, but she called her mom's job and she, Kelly, Kelly put her in her place. You know what I'm saying? And she shows up at her daughter's job too. Why? What the fuck, bro? She's like, I think Heather has a boundaries issue. I applied to some more jobs. Every like response is some bullshit. And it's like carefully curated to be dispensed at a time that is terrible for me. Um, like, for instance, I'll be talking to someone about an opportunity or a potential opportunity, and they'll just stop responding, or vice versa. Something in my immediate surrounding happens that takes my attention because after just like three minutes, they still hadn't responded. And I have only notifications off on Google Voice. So, um, it's been fucked up because how are my notifications off, but yet all these calls are still coming through to harass me. How are my notifications off yet I call my children and they don't answer the phone when my children always answer the phone when I call. Oh, is this, I, she might've come up with this conspiracy theory last time. It might be this time though, where she thinks people are hacking her phone just to turn her notifications off. I swear I did do a rant like this already on stream. Um, yeah, this is weird. I don't think she knows how to turn her notifications off. Like how, you know, It just doesn't make sense to me. And then it's like, is this fear mongering again to get me to just start walking up obsessive amounts of miles towards Rosemont? Towards Rosemont, right? Is Eric Scholl a bad guy looking for a cut? or a good guy trying to help with the situation? Is Xavier really brothers with the district attorney office? You know, all these questions I have, but I just have to keep on doing my fucking makeup in the tent, trying to figure out the answers and praying and hoping to God that my kids are on, you know, board to graduate high school in my absence. Um, so annoying. Everyone's like, don't complain. I'm like, well, no, instead of complaining, you should be doing something to better your situation. Faux shizzle. 
you don't complain. I will complain. Have you guys never heard of that squeaky oil getting the roots or wheels or whatever it's called? It... <laughs> What did she say? It says squeaky wheel gets the grease. I don't know what she said, but it wasn't that. A wheel or whatever. Is this Heather's music? I guess like it would. Mm, yeah, I need to. Uh, I need audio bars because if I could see like when she actually starts talking, I could skip to that part. But I can't because I don't have audio bars. Let's just skip a little bit ahead. It's forty nine minutes, guys. So. Is, um, if anyone knows where she starts revving up, put it in chat. But I'm just going to keep skipping through until I know that she starts getting crazy at one point. I think it's probably after she's done her makeup. Putting the eyeshadow on after I apply the brow. So I'm trying. Oh, I muted it. No, I didn't. What am I doing? Electronic house. No. I usually only do gold. Fucking power. I have a lot of skill sets. I know. Put these in the trash. In the candy bag. All right, I'm taking Cheryl's advice. She says it's just, uh, it's boring, long and boring in next video. So that's what we'll do. We'll skip to the next one. Thank God. That just cut an hour of time, guys. Um, if you do want to see this, I think it's on either BCG or Crazy Train's channel. Um, or it might even still be on Heather's Instagram itself. I think it's on one or the other, though. Uh, and all the links are in the description for those guys. So if you want to watch that hour long um, stream that I think was, let's see when it was on here. What was that? The third last uh, 18th. It's, that's the number you got to look for the hour long stream on the 18th. Um, you go for it. This is. Okay, yeah, no, I switched the video. Yeah, this is just a four minute video. I don't know what's going to happen in this. Oh man, why does it do that every time? So we haven't worked with root words for a while. I miss my children. I have questions. As oh, so she's talking about, I guess that's the grocery delivery service that she used to work for, the Gruders. So whether or not the public school system is even open and functioning anymore. Not your concern. My face is swollen and hell as hell, which yesterday it wasn't. If you guys recall, I was snatched yesterday. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I probably ate too much salt, even though all I had was a corn dog and a bowl of soup, a couple pieces of potato. Anyways, the point is, you guys. Maybe a Kit Kat bar, maybe it's all your salad, and also uh, some fucking flapjacks. Let's talk. Let's go back to root words. Somebody please check on my children. Get my children out of protection, if protection means you fuck and sexually harass and abuse people, um, which is what goes on. Please make sure my children are okay, someone watching this. Um, let's talk about root words. So even the word content, the word content, 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 right? Everyone thinks that the word con. I remember so much, Kenny, but just not short-term things i'll forget something i said and then i'll remember it like three minutes later and my long-term memory is pretty good sometimes <laughs> means fake or fraud or phony or i appreciate you. criminal it doesn't think about this the root word con what does it mean negate negative right Think about in terms of photography. Oh, 
What's going on here, Heather? It, the, the things are still going down there, so it's her it's her connection, I'm pretty sure. Watch it be my computer, actually, this time. So when you're talking about creating content, you're taking a big, huge negative, not a negative as in some things are positive, some things are negative, a negative in terms of photography. Think of it that way. And you're taking the film. Who? Why is she yelling? I guess she's not on pot today. Whoever developed photographs in the 90s, early 2000s. And after you get all your photos printed out, they give you these things. They look like production films, right? And you can't really see what they are. You can hold them up to the light and you can see the shape of someone's nose, whatever. But you can't really see what they are. The content is the fine tuning of the negatives. It's not the negative. She's sniffing a lot, too. You, know, you guys notice that? She's sniffing a lot. Her phone's glitching. Of the issues that we know are occurring and putting them together in ways i think she might be getting like notifications because she is like tapping on something like the screen goes black for a second and she's tapping and then it comes back it's i wonder if she's gonna get back someone is trying to interrupt my ted talk about i, I don't even know it's all blending together at this point and delivering them in oh groceries and kids of course ways and communicating them in ways that people will understand stop making con a bad root word it's not a bad word it's not a bad word at all think of all the words that accurately are described with that root in it con c-o-n it's not fraud it's not flage it's not phony it's not fake it's not any of that it's a refinement of the negative the undeveloped so that it's not a complete picture because in a 30 second piece of content or even in a in a you know hour long discussion it's nearly impossible to share every bit of information about a situation in one sit down don't you guys know don't you guys know that they are making Xavier wear her sports bras so she has no no uh what do you call support she has no support so like <laughs> this is what we get. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> it's nearly impossible. So the content created, it's like if you're profiling someone for the FBI, you're not going to be able to share a person's entire life circumstances in a 30-minute briefing, right? So you create content, media, and you teach your class key points that stick out, that you think they need to know. We're humans, we make mistakes. It's possible that people leave shit out. Stop trying to go behind my back, over my head, between my fucking legs. It doesn't work, we always find out. I keep it real. You're a lie. All of you, you're a lie. Live and lie, live and lie, Timmy. You remember, remember South Park? I think that's what I said. I'm living a lie, living a lie, Timmy. Stop trying to stand next to me. It won't work. Take your space. Way the fuck over there. Give me back my children and get the fuck off my back. Mic drop. There you go. This is crazy, lady, bro. Um. Okay. So now. Um, those were the lives. Those were the days of our lives. Um, what do I got to do now? I got to switch this over to this kind of view because I tried to get all the videos. Why is my thing not working? There we go. I tried to get all the videos to stay in this kind of format where there's no black bars beside it. So I can put my face there, but, um, these other ones, I'm going to have to grab from BCG's channel. If my thing would resize properly. Uh, oh, hold on. Give me one second, guys. 
That's why. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, share this tab instead. Move this. Oh, my God. Give me one sec. It's doing that bad thing that it does. You know? Um, you guys might not know. That's okay. Give me one sec. So how are you guys' nights going? Do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Do you know what you're going to do for Halloween? Anything like that? There we go. Now I can resize. I'm going to write them an email and say, yo, bro. Yo, bro. Remember when your thing used to work? And I didn't give me any problems. Can you put it back like that? That'd be cool. That'd be much appreciated. Or I could just learn how to use... Um, That's a lie. I can't learn how to use OBS because my computer can't handle it. So we're kind of stuck with StreamYard until... Um, <laughs> I use my credit to buy computers instead of food. That's where we're at. Um, let me... It shouldn't be. Oh, you know what? Thank God. Okay, that's way easier to look at. Um, so we're where do we pick up from? Um, we did that. We did that. We did this. We did this. Wait, now did we did this? This is the police montage. Instagram story rant. Am I going crazy? I thought there was other lives here that I was going to pull. Maybe I am going crazy. But since we're here, I mean, we might as well do the police montage. And then if you want, since it is going a bit late, um, it's past midnight. Tomorrow, we can go over all of our uh, Instagram stories that I do have. You know what? It might actually give me enough time to, to figure out how to rotate it properly. And then... Um, yeah, no, I think, yeah, we'll wrap it up here with the uh, police montage. And there's, I guess there's, no, there's the 13 minute story rant, actually. We can do that one and then finish. Okay. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. So this isn't all of the stories from this week, but this is the most recent crazy ass rant. Um, I think you guys will like this one. Then we'll wrap it up with the police montage. And then tomorrow. All right, so if you guys have been following my. Calm down, Heather. I'm not done. Um, and then tomorrow we can do the rest of the stories if you guys want. Um, or you guys can just... Oh, wait, no. I guess they, they delete after 24 hours. Yeah, I will do the rest of the stories tomorrow. Um, what do we got? Oh, uh, Okay, yeah, no, that's good. Okay, here's the crazy rant, guys. All right, so if you guys have been following my personal blog, my real-life story of everything that's been going on, um, since 2015, when I first started being exploited, I have no criminal record. I have a bachelor's degree. I have three children and I'm pregnant with my fourth. Um, I am currently involved in numerous projects. They're mostly all mine. GoPro Solo is a production company, media company, marketing company that I created in 2015 um, when I started doing cam work. I have not done that kind of work since 2018 um, at all. I haven't been involved in any sort of sexy entertainment production um, at all. What about the fucking pumpkin booty? All since that time. It's 2023 now, so that's five years. Um, I kept the production company name, and I still do art, modeling, photo shoots, social media management and social justice issues. Social justice issues is a big one for me, not by choice. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how it happened, but I fell in love with someone who was facing prison time. I had a lot of prejudgments about prisoners and I still have a lot of judgments about addicts. I have been robbed by so many addicts. I have, I've loved a people who are addicted to substances, but- You're addicted to substances. 
Heather. At the same time, I have lost everything as a result of loving those people who are addicted to substances. And I do understand that it's a problem, um, addiction in itself. I also understand the substance is not the problem. So I disagree in a lot of ways. I mean, I don't want to agree with her. I think like some people can do some stuff and some people can't, but it would most definitely be like the substance would be the root issue if you can't handle your shit. I don't know, man. And that's why they consider, they say that I'm, um, what's that middle po political thing? Centrist? No. Lib um, can A centrist? A centrist. A libertarian, she's going to say? Conservative, but... A conservative? <laughs> no, that's... Okay. Then as soon as I start talking, they they want to push it more towards liberal. So it's like... That's not in the middle. That's on the right. The conservative's on the right. The gun and the hand example, right? Or the mass murder example. If you're an advocate for guns or not, you're smart enough to know that a gun on its own, sitting next to some bullets on the table, can hurt no one, Right? There's no one that can be harmed by it. The gun is only a problem when it is loaded, which is you need intention to load a gun. It could be nefarious. It could be innocent, but you need intention. And a hand must have the gun in its possession. This is a really weird way to describe, like, I don't even know where she's going with this, but no, you don't need a hand. Kurt Cobain killed himself with a, his toe, I'm pretty sure. He fucking put his toe on the shotgun. Um, accidents happen with gun all the time, too. There's the FBI agent who did a backflip. His gun fell out, and it, it fell on the ground and shot a guy in a leg. <laughs> Remember that? That's some old shit. Um, it's just like, I don't know. There's all these parameters. The gun can only work if it's in a hand, and it's been loaded with intention. Okay, Heather. Then the fingers must communicate with the brain to pull the trigger. What? Whether it's uh, an intentional... <laughs> I, I, I was, I, I'm no way it was going to get weirder. Like, what the fuck? The fingers communicate with the brain? Are you sure, like, the brain doesn't communicate with the fingers? Let me sure, Let me make sure I heard that right. Pulling of the... With the brain, the gun in its possession. Then the fingers must communicate with the brain to pull the trigger. Whether it's uh, an intentional pulling of the trigger or some sort of reaction and you accidentally pull the trigger. I've never had my fingers tell my brain, okay, we got <laughs> what the fuck am I listening to? Trigger. It's a communication between our brain and our fingers. So there are a lot of steps involved in a gun being shot, right? None of them have to do with the gun. And that's the same with substances, in my opinion. Now, in this relationship, and I'm going to go live on this in a few minutes. So if you guys want to hear, I'm going to be live on the GoPro solo page. I mean, again, I don't want to agree with her. I get what she's trying to say. Like, it's a tool, right? Like, a gun is a tool, but it's also a killing machine. Like, it's designed to kill people, and it's in, it's in, it's made to kill, right? Or to deter people from killing you. So, just like drugs are meant to get you high. If you can't stop getting high, and drugs are the problem. If you can't stop killing people with guns, then guns may be the problem. Heather. <laughs> Talking about the background of GoPro Solo, how I got here, and what I hope to accomplish with the brand, the mission, the, the um, um, company. When I went into that relationship, as I said before, I was not aware that there were systemic issues so disgusting and corrupt as... COs engaging in sexual relationships with inmates as corrupt as yeah james soroka got them together apparently as inmates getting special privileges to come and go off the books corrupt as officers being bribed with naked photos of inmates wives or subscription services to their live webcam pages I think we should go back to the days where, like, you needed skill to kill somebody. Like, it, you can, yeah, have a bow and arrow. You need to know how to shoot a bow and arrow, and you better be a good fucking shot, you know? It, you shouldn't be able to just, like, I get the, the argument. Self-defense, you know? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get into a gun debate. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. It's just, like, Heather's, the way Heather presented it was so fucking crazy <laughs> i was like 
you're making me argue against something that I kind of, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that, into those waters. In order to smuggle in tobacco products or steroids. I didn't know. Now I know. So I did learn of several rape situations, um, false imprisonment situations, situations where inmates are imprisoned with no opportunity to earn their own income and items cost money. So they're being held in these spaces with a bar of soap and a toothbrush. That's it. Limited access to medical care, if any at all, and no opportunity to earn their own income. And it's not much different from what they're doing to me right now. I've had 21 jobs in the last 36 months. I've been harassed, chased, beaten, uh, or lied out of each and every single one of them. What's going on with your mouth? Why is just your one eye poking out? Like, why'd you put this big letter here? Why don't you put it like up here, Heather? You're crazy. But yeah, Kenny, imagine her in like the bait club. <laughs> so sure she would have fucking ex excelled at that shit. And we have the proof. It's the fingers communicate with the bird. Very rare for me to get enough uh, time to even create content that's this real. They're holding me outside so that I can't speak on this shit. If you guys don't get that yet. So forgive my unkept appearance, or sometimes I speak on it while I'm doing my makeup. The morning few minutes in this tent are the only opportunities that I truly have. Also, for everyone responsible for broadcasting me how I look without makeup on, not being able to shower, not... Who's broadcasting her without makeup on that's not herself? Like, she's in a tent with Xavier. No one's broadcasting you without your consent. You're broadcasting yourself. What? being able to have my regular Botox and clean clothing. I hope that they get, I hope that they also have to show their ugly fucking selves because I'm tired of watching bitches look at the It's Tiny G account, which was created intentionally to cause me concern, to cause me to feel like criminals are- Who, who is, what's counts that? What? Taking over the world and to manufacture crime. They put people who are or have historically been involved in shenanigans. I don't know who fucking Karen Garcia is, or it's this tiny G. Is she just going crazy? Is she like thinking, you know how people think Britney Spears is fake? Is it like that? But this is just Heather's thing. Like Heather thinks she's found something. Into a position to receive surgeries, high paying jobs. And then they put them first in the algorithm just an acquaintance of Dylan's? <laughs> what? Why does she care? What the fuck? I know Karen. She does not look like that. Bitch. Oh my God. Just worry about yourself. What the fuck? Of your news feed? I thought it was a famous person that I just didn't know about. So that you can feel like crime is your only way. I promise you, I am not making this shit up. This has been five years and counting. Uh, probably closer to 10, but I just started to wake up five years ago. I don't have a problem with Tiny. I have a problem with the fact that that... So if you guys didn't get that, let me explain that a little simpler terms. She's trying to save this uh, woman that wants nothing to do with her from Dylan. Because I think she's on... What kind of drug do you think she's on today? I think, you know, the chill day, she was on weed. Um, I don't know. She was doing some kind of sniffing drugs the last video because she kept like being like, yeah, and then um, I don't know what she's on this, but like this is like a lot of conspiratorial nonsense. What drug would make you like really conspiratorial? I don't know. They put people maybe meth who uh, commit crimes for wealth into circulation and rotation of people who are in poverty, who are struggling or doing without, who are not eating, let me put it that way, who are sleeping outdoors in fucking tents. And they manufacture the storyline that those people have been successful in crime for 15, 10, 20 years. I don't think that either. Yeah, it could be a withdrawal too, yeah. And then they call them undercovers. That is manufactured crime, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That is not an undercover officer. That is manufactured crime that is a doll d-o-l-l -L. it is an acronym for someone that they use under control so it's almost like a remote control and they use a number of different means to control this person it is sick it is not american it is a terrorist attack 
<laughs> you gotta bring the patriotism to us. Salty, how are you doing tonight? Might be drug induced psychosis. That's yeah, could be that as well. Um, <laughs> she was on one this week, Salty. Now, on top of that, you have people who are really committing crimes, okay, and they're going hard. I know a couple personally who have done no doubt at least 500 grand of credit card fraud in under a year in broad daylight. <laughs> yeah. Opposed to at night. I swear to God to you, no fucking, no problems. They sit at their desk. You think the regular business people, they go out in public. You have no fucking clue who these people are. And no, I will not disclose their names. All of you can go get fucked hard in the mouth, face, ear, wherever the fuck you like to take it for keeping me out here in this goddamn tent like a fucking animal with no criminal record, no drug problem, and no fucking reason legally for keeping me out here. Oh, you want my cooperation? Here it is. Remember when she said she like gave someone a, a crazy willy for <laughs> sexual gratification? Yeah, you fucked in the ear or the ass any way you like it. And he's just like, yeah. Going back to her, her roots there for a second. But anyways, these people who are really committing the crimes and good at it, they're scapegoating all the fucking dummies who don't know what the fuck is going on. And the FBI is just as dumb as the dummies getting scapegoated because they buy it. They buy it. And one of two things happens. Either they get into bed with the criminal and they become corrupted. And the FBI agents that were assigned to figure out who the bad guy is assign blame to the innocent person so that they can financially profit from the crimes going on. Or they attempt to take down the bad guy. And I Damn. I mean, I don't even know what these say. Let's zoom in and find that. Zoom in and enhance. Uh, this is real, and I'm sorry for my delivery. But I've been oppressed and using since I was 14 years old. My children are now being affected oh, by what? And I'm losing patience. I'm being denied medical treatment and a lawyer. Where's Nick Albuquerque? Uh, I have no criminal record. That's a lie. I've never been charged or convicted with a crime. That's a lie. I have no drug history. That's you, That literally contradicts itself up here. You just said, hold up. I've been oppressed and, oh, not using drugs, but she was used by others, I guess. That's what she means. All right. Um... She says she has no substance abuse history. Lie. I have a bachelor's degree. Lie. Um, I have numerous letters of recommendation vouching for my work in ethic. <laughs> Super fucking lie. What, uh, show me one. Show me one, bro. Other than basketball dad. Where the fuck did he go? He made one little comment and ran away. You still like lurking here, basketball dad? Because like, if you're watching this, you're just as bad as all these people you're fucking condemning, bro. I've yet to see number two happen yet. Every fucking agent has been corrupted that I have had the pleasure of meeting. It's sick. And you know what's scarier than all of that is that I've raised my children successfully by myself <laughs> for most of their lives. Most of their lives. We didn't have it cushy. They didn't have it easy, but they had food. They had clothes. They had gaming systems. They had love. My children are being affected by this every single day. You think my children like seeing that their mother is being raped, robbed, beaten, and abused in the street? What's more is that law enforcement, FBI, whoever is responsible to state will say things to me like, Heather, maybe don't put that on social media because you don't want the kids to know. Really? Really? Valid. Yeah. So I should have my kids believe the shit you tell them, which is that I'm out getting high and partying. Uh, <laughs> I don't think. No, that's not what they're saying. I'm, they're saying you putting out these videos is portraying that image of yourself because look at you. You're a fucking you're not even a hot mess. You're just a big, crazy mess, you know? So it's literally the opposite, I'm assuming. Like, if you stop posting all these crazy videos, they won't think you're on drugs. You might even actually have a fucking chance to see them if you can show you're rehabilitated. But I don't think it'll happen. How many other people, black people mostly... What? What, Heather? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Undocumented citizens, have you put a fucking saddle on and... It's mostly minorities, but also rich, uh, I'm sorry, poor white people. They put a saddle on us and ride us like a literal horse. 
and they don't go undercover. They don't put us in fucked up criminal investigations. They don't have us fucking setting up drug dealers or fraudsters or putting our lives on the line. Their faces are forever masked. It's you and I, brown people, black people, poor white people. Bro, I have, I have like the perf, like this is the James racist ramp, but just fucking Heather. They're the same person. The clips of them side by side, this is going to be like the finale. What the fuck is she talking about? What the fuck? This is, what the fuck? Who are being scapegoated and who are also being used as the tools that these fucking assholes use to investigate and shut down crime. So you don't get any payment, you don't get any benefit, you don't get any protection, but you do all the work and you suffer. Sounds good? This is not the country that I grew up in. And last time I checked, you don't own a person or their story or the events that have taken place in their life. That's another Sorokaism. I'm just like, I don't know. I've I've seen her, um, I don't know. Want I thought she really liked black people. What the fuck? Okay. Um, that's not going to do you any favors, bro. Oh, my God. Wow. You don't buy ownership or control of my real life. And if you want to buy it, the only person who would be even the smallest amount qualified to sell it would be me. And I would never fucking do so because I have my own production company. So get off my fucking back. It would be so crazy if I was visiting Chicago and you just walk by a tent and you hear that. I'd be like, holy fuck. That's Heather, bro. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I'm like, damn. As I said again, I'd like to know what the punishment for closing a person's checking account I haven't seen her be racist yet. I guess, like, I don't know. I thought I'd... I don't know why I would think I'd seen it all at this point. But, like, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know why I, wouldn't, I wasn't expecting that. Blocking their money, freezing their money is. And if there is no crime associated with those things, so you people can do it to me and get away with it, then why don't you pass me over your account and routing number so that I can do the same shit to you and not be charged? How does that sound? And lastly, just to, you know, finish everything, it is not the government that's corrupted. The government can never be corrupted. What is the government? You just said that there was no FBI anymore, that they got corrupted like two days before this. What? What do you mean? That that was her whole talking point. The government is the body. The government is the structure. The government is the constitution. The governments are the laws. None of that ever changes. It stays the same. We refine it. It can never be corrupted. It's the human beings that we vote into power to enforce the government that are corrupted. So they have to go and you need to get fresh, new, young people into office who have everything they need so that offering them incentive is nearly impossible. And then you isolate them enough to be untouchable but force them to experience. That's the answer. And now I've solved poverty, homelessness, and the issues of a corrupt government before breakfast. Holy shit. That's, uh... <laughs> what? And, and now this is really lastly, and Hold then on. I'm busy. Government, that's the answer. And now, to be untouchable, homelessness, them to experience. That's the answer. And now I've solved poverty, homelessness, and the issues of a corrupt government before breakfast. And Damn, son. And now this is really lastly, and then I'm busy. So if you don't understand tech boxing, someone please check on my children. Because what happens is when I'm being targeted and my only friends or family are my three kids, my dad and Xavier, those are the only... <laughs> It's like, dude, it's like 9.48 in the morning. Like, I'm just gonna, like, 
Do you think she just wakes up like this? She just wakes up in like a fucking crazy ass mood. The people I ever talked to. So when I'm reporting and I, if I text my kid, hey, babe, they started targeting me again. Are you OK? I've been approached multiple times in person. X, Y, Z. I start giving examples. They don't want that information getting out if they box me in. So who do you think they're going to box in next? Anyone who I've shared that information with. So I really need my to know that my children are safe because I am fucking sick and tired of being abused and then having people who are supposed to protect us box us in. That's crazy. <laughs> so um, that was like, that was just one rant, but that was from today, I believe. Or yeah, yeah, today. Well, it's midnight now on the East Coast. Um, so technically yesterday, I guess. But yeah, so we'll finish this up with the police. And then I'm going to fix my stuff for tomorrow. Um, if, well, I have a backup if it, if I can't do it. I want to, so it's all good. But um, yeah, there's no way I can do like a whole other hour of this. We're already at three hours. So we'll do this, uh, the montage. It's just 12 minutes. 12 minutes of all of our, her memorable police moments. Um, so grab some popcorn and enjoy the... Uh, Let's enjoy this shit. Let's let's see if we can get a bit bigger. Can we get a bit bigger? A little bit. There we go. I, uh, I've been calling since Friday the 23rd of January to have someone pick up this sheet. Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. So this is like the, um, this is her not giving the officer it because he wants to ask her questions. Um, I woke up in the morning, abruptly awoken. This is my apartment, obviously. Um, I have no idea what the fuck was going on, but my legs were covered in bruises. My back felt like I had fallen down the stairs or something. Um, and I was just in an incredible amount of pain, bruised, bruises all over my knees and legs. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I get up, my bed sheets are covered in stains all over. So I wrapped them up in hairs and all types of shit. So I wrapped it. Uh, Courtney, do you have a timestamp, um, of the, you're talking about the hour long video that was on the 18th. If you can throw me a timestamp, I'll go back to it and listen to him. If he offers drugs after this, if, uh, if it's not too long of a clip. It up and I called Eric. He was supposed to take me to turn it in. Um, and he invented some sort of, I don't know what an emergency. He said he would drop me off food and instead he threw this little unicorn at me out the, the car of the moving window and I'm recording. No, no problem. It's a rape sheet. It, it takes from being raped. I've already called the medical to report. I don't. So even here, she says, I basically threw the sheet at him. He's so confused doing all this, acting like a fucking jerk, all for everyone to see. There's no one else here. Um, I'm an erroneous little cunt. Yeah, you are. So, um, <laughs> he's just trying to get some information about what's going on. And she's like, no, just take these sheets. It was a grape. Want to keep talking about it? Are you going to take it or no? I, I don't have anything. I, I, I have it in my hand. Are you going to take it or no? I'll, we'll take it if you can explain stuff to me. I don't want to. I can't do anything. So if you can hear, he's saying, I'll take it if you can explain stuff to me. I can't do anything unless you tell me what's going on. I made a report the 23rd, Friday. You guys should have recording of it. Rape. Last Friday at 3 in the morning. Uh, okay, so that was, sorry. I thought that was her posting it because it was like over top of the video and I thought this was the commentary. But yeah, okay. Thank you for, you can, that'd be crazy if she wrote that, right? Morning, right before my car was stolen. That's it. There's bodily fluids on it. My car was taken from the parking lot. I don't want any further. Co I gotta figure out who collected it, how it was collected. It's not yes. Okay, so you Hey, ma'am, do you think that any person do you? Yeah, no, sure. You're right. Like they would try to see anything. They would be, I'm assuming the most cooperative they would be because they would want justice to be sure served, served. It's getting late, guys. I think that any person would voluntarily. I don't deal with him. If you want to deal with someone, deal with me. He's clearly the weaker one. <laughs> she called Xavier the weaker one. As I said, if there were some resources, then why don't you offer them? 
You didn't. Where are they? I'll gladly take them here on camera. Okay, you know what, ma'am? I apologize. Crazy train. How are you doing tonight? I apologize. I, mu I must have taken you wrong. I must have taken you wrong. Can you please hand me the resources? I don't know. Can you please give me the resources that you're discussing? Where are the resources? Yes. Can you please give me one? <laughs> just going to tell you where to get one and you're just going to argue. Do you see this? And they, there's a phone there that you can call Department of That's a lie. Service. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And they come pick you up. That's a lie. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And they come pick you up. That's a lie. That is not a lie. Yes, it is. That's what they do. Nope. I think the police officer would know, wouldn't you? They don't. Well, if they're not picking you how long, up. How long have you been an officer here, ma'am? Maybe there's another reason. Why how, how long have you been an officer here, ma'am? Maybe there's another reason why they Can I ask how long you've been an officer here, ma'am? Can I ask what your professional experience is? Do you have any psychology experience? Human services? Social services? What's your background, ma'am? Do you guys see how close this woman is walking up to me, right? When I've asked her, like, repeatedly. I'm literally sitting here doing nothing. Doing my I think she wants your fucking live stream or whatever you do. Yeah, it is a live stream. To hear what she has to say because she is telling you how to access resources and you're just asking her a whole bunch of irrelevant questions like whatever qualifications are she has her badge she got the job she got she has more than you have heather my makeup you guys see my makeup half done oh, oh here come she's like ooh, ooh, look at my makeup you guys all right i can't let i can't let mgk Copyright, copyright claim me after all of those i had to deal with so many copyright claims i won't get into it too much but like james soroka drove for 15 hours just playing copyrighted music and it, like, i've never dealt with many, so many copyright claims i'll say that you to leave xavier why are you talking to them you want me to <laughs> Yes, because you're harassing me. It's okay. You guys hear this, right? So where I'm going, say that, please keep saying you're, you are strengthening my case so substantially. You cannot have me leave from a public space. I cannot have him leave from a public space. Was she trying to get Xavier removed from her general location or something? And you can't have me leave from a public space. You're not trying to help. She's not trying to help. Help me. You are so full of shit, bro. I'm refusing food and an indoor restroom. No, that's a lie. I'm refusing you wasting my fucking time anymore. I want to go to sleep. Do you hear this? Do you want to go there? Do you want to go there? Do you want to go there? So go. I'm kind of hungry. Bye. I'm kind of hungry. Bye. Bye. No, I would like an apartment and a lawsuit. If you cannot provide either one of those things, I can't fuck with you. That's yeah. See, it's it's always by Heather's words. Who wants an apartment, not just a shelter, and a lawsuit? Anything else is just not going to cut it. I have violated no laws. Okay, it's two o'clock in the morning. I am a grown ass woman with three children who needs to be in bed by ten thirty. I am fucking tired. Does it, bro? Do you see this shit? This is this is antagonization. This is badgering. You're right. I can't move you from a public space, but a judge will sue the fuck out of CPD for this. That's on God. Yes Did I no? say I have children in a tent? I'm asking. I'm asking. Yeah, I think that's a valid question. Obviously, there's no children in the okay. fucking tent. How, why, why would that be obvious at this point? No, I didn't look in your. Well, I'm not a crackhead, and I'm not an abusive mother. I. Mm. You sound like a crackhead. So I'm not going to have three children in a fucking four-person tent. I I but you're going to refuse food and shelter because it's, it's not an apartment. Obviously. Obviously. The fuck? This is what I do all night long, right? Productive. Productive use of your time. This is what the fuck goes on. And this is somehow not badgering. This is somehow not harassment. This is somehow not stalking. This is all of those things. Every fucking single one of them. They have resources. Participating in some of the most corrupt situations I have ever seen in my entire life. They should all be ashamed of themselves. Pardon? If by check you mean rape, 
not okay. If you if if you mean drive by to make sure I'm not dead, well then thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I'm tired of being raped, sir. I think, I think you, you misperceive it. No, I don't misperceive you. It's th this is what it is, okay? You are two black men. <laughs> okay. 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 How dare you sit there and stand talk to me? And this is real from what my is, heart and facts. How I'm not done. Black, if you listen, I'll let you know. Black, I will let you know right now. <laughs> what you pulled out the accent for? All these motherfuckers want to talk about the culture, right? Shows up to quote, make sure everything is all right. Service. Give it to me. Uh, this is this is the one. This is Crazy Train's channel. This is crazy train. One of these days, I'm going to watch this like live stream that you have up of uh, her at the playground where she argues with the cop. I've been meaning to since the first stream, but like three hours of content just from this week. I haven't been able to. I didn't. I tried. He asked me, do we need help? I tried to hand him a narrative. He says, I refuse to accept that from you and walks away. So he's saying I refuse police service when I literally tried to hand him the narrative I have written up with all the fucking links of all the fucking evidence. evidence. The Yet he on camera just walked away for the millionth time and refused to take it. No one sees a problem with this. <laughs> the playground. Yeah, fuck man. Oh my God. Yeah, this this one is uh is something. One of these days, guys, we're gonna watch the whole thing because I, I skim through it, and every part that I jump to, she's like, and the cops just like, what the fuck do you want? Lombard, it's always the same shit. Oh, Heather was right. oh she was. Well, let's lock her up. Let's put her on a fucking uh four hundred dollar bond, and then let's all sit around and listen and laugh when people say the only way that they can get out of prison is if they suck their dick. Like that's so professional, so respectful. That's the way you treat a mother. Heather, are you in there? Heather, can you hear us? Heather, are you in there? It's the police. So this is like your apartment building, deep track of police. Uh, Deep track, please throw back to a time a former friend called for a welfare check. The notes in there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is like a, this is just a compilation of cop things to, to end up the stream. Hold on. Why are you here? Because you were doing dumpster and I was worried about you. You don't live here. I would okay. get fuck away from you. Know what? Okay, I'm sorry. You're doing dumpster and Lazarus was worried. You don't live here. Okay, I'm like, you're alive, right? No, I don't. So a couple of months ago when she tried to claim the Schiller Park, cops beat her up. Let's see. Can we, uh, three cups, two huge guys and a woman, at least my size, assault me for no reason, literally beat me over the head and cause an injury, <laughs> an injury, guys, uh, to my right wrist. I refuse lawyer or doctor. Okay. Um, and then this is Nick Albuquerque for the record. Uh, and then my phone upon discharge, no bond, no charges, just beat my ass. Be they have a badge, apparently. Won't call my dad or my lawyer. Um, Heather's a confusing lady, bro. Period. Ever since I called for help and you already know what happened. Now uh, This was um, when the cops came... Yeah, like it says March, April, twenty twenty one. For um, remember the stream. If you if you guys have seen the other streams, I showed her driving around with the cops were chasing her, and she is like, "Help me, stop!" And eventually, they just let her go. But then she they showed up to charge her, and that's why she doesn't have a driver's license apparently. Um, so that's this interaction. At least that's I think what it is. Now the cops are here pounding on the door. I don't. 
don't hear them because I'm in the shower and staging a shoot. They call, somehow they already have the phone number for the person I'm staying with, super random. This is all illegal. This is all harassment. This is all, all bad, all bad for them. So they somehow have the phone number to the person I'm staying with, which this is so random. How would they have his phone number? And they call him, he calls me, I'm in the back bedroom. I have no view of outside. I come out, I open the door. The officer goes, you need to get out here right now. I'm standing in a bath towel here, in a towel out of the shower. You need to get out here right now. Do you guys see the snow outside? I'd... Okay, I say why? Yeah, okay. so I think they were there because of the eluding car chase situation. What I need to go out here right now. I'm definitely not going outside. I don't trust you. I didn't do anything. I've not left the house. And they go, you need to come out here right now before we tow your car. I said, you can go ahead and tow my car. That's my income. That's my job. If you tow my car, expect a lawsuit. Yeah, so for if anyone's just listening, BCG put in chat, um, she refused to come out for this one. Not long after that, she went into a police station uh, to report another fake grape and got hit with the eluding warrant. Um, so that is what we think this is. Not giving me any reason to come out. I don't know you. Am I or am I not within my rights? Thank you. Thank you. Get the fuck. What the fuck? And this is ever since I called the police on my ex, who is 100% a cop, working for the fucking cops, and ever since I called trying to get help and expose their corruption of them not helping me, of them letting him beat the fuck out of me for such a long time, now all of a sudden there are police popping up everywhere I go. I'm staying at a random friend's house. I've only been here two weeks. How would they even know that I was here? This is not a coincidence. Stay woke. Um, I have suspicion that things have- I like how she ended up a stay woke. Uh, so this is said, uh, uh, Dylan isn't the only one who works with the cops either, according to her. Happen. Like, I think Xavier goes somewhere. I, I don't know if law enforcement forces him to go, like, update them or what, but they bring in someone who looks like Xavier, and I can tell it's not, but they won't admit it. I say, you're not Xavier, and they just look at me funny. Some badge numbers. <laughs> Xavier, they just look at me funny. Probably because it's fucking Xavier. He thinks you're crazy. That's fine. I was I was literally in bed sleeping. I'm not trespassing. I've been paid in full. And I have detailed documentation of every date and time that I paid. So this is, uh, yeah, she was getting, hold on. How do I almost forget the Florida police eviction and this was from i think a hotel right it looks like a hotel at least and extended my reservation that i'm in bed sleeping okay. so i'm in bed I asleep i got out of work okay but i've been extending my reservation i was told that my reservation was good through monday and you said it was fine so this is how, okay so we didn't speak this morning because i have it recorded okay Okay, so he hasn't contacted me to let me know that. I don't have my phone off. It's on. I'm recording. I'm sleeping, ma'am. I work at nighttime. I'm sleeping. This is this is the law in this in the state of Florida is that you have to evict someone with a three day notice. She knows them laws. Of the queen of the 1096, which is a. Uh, I think a mental, mentally ill patient. Let's see. Um, what? Why am I? I can't see. No follow up from the court system or the PD. Oh, 1096. Here it is. Mental patient. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what 1096 is. Such a menace to police. They had to, they blocked her email address. Imagine being blocked by the police. Imagine if like nine one one blocked your number. <laughs> how do you get blocked by the police email? I need help. These officers are literally. Ah, uh, so this is we have seen this before, but this is a good one to end on. I don't know if there's one after this, but uh, yeah, this is the police chase. They boxing me in, trying to hurt me. I don't know them. I have not committed a crime. I literally pulled over. I pulled over because an officer was trying to pull me over, okay? I pulled over. He tried to force me into a parking lot. I don't know where this parking lot is. I don't want to be off the main road because of the issues I've had with law enforcement for no good reason. 
Now they're trying to force me into an isolated parking lot that is off the main street where everyone could see me. I say no, and they try to box my car in. They won't pull me over on the regular street. Why won't they pull me over in front of everyone? If there's no problem, see, look, look, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Help me, help me, help me, help me, no. Like, what do you think this random car is going to do to help you? And then I don't know what they were trying to do to help, but she immediately says, no. <laughs> no, 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 they help me. Fucking crazy. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that got her some charges. Uh, let's see what they are here. Uh, address change. Okay, so. We got fleeing or attempting to elude police officer in a motor vehicle. We got operate a motor vehicle while using an electronic communication device and failure to lead due to emergency vehicles. Oh, I don't know. So that is where we're going to end it for tonight. Um, and then, yeah, if you guys want tomorrow, we can finish up the stories. Uh, shouldn't be as long as tonight's stream. And that, that'll be it for uh, Heather Gillespie this week. Until next week, um, I, I'm surprised this, you guys stayed this long. <laughs> so, I appreciate you. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys have some great plans for Halloween. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow, I guess. Take care, guys.